Hello everyone, welcome to the Tea House. I am Bell, and today we are going to be playing more Tales of Arise. We are going to take a boat ride out in the ocean, potentially, and see what happens. Uh, last time we had a little bit of story stuff, got the group back together, the moon transformed and dropped a thingy into the ocean. That seems to be sucking out all the astral energy from the planet. We don't know why yet, but we'll figure it out. But it stopped any dastardly plans. But yeah, how are y'all doing in chat today? I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Not too much else. If you go to the Discord, there is a poll going for uh, stream times and stream days next week and the week after since they changed my work schedule. Hey, Shira, welcome in. How you doing, lovely princess? I see your cute little peekies there. Yeah, it's a good day so far. I'm not super energetic today, so I'll do my best for y'all today. But yeah. Hang in there, hoping no for it. Yeah. I hope there's no more power outage either. Those suck. Everything goes down. You like, do I want to get into something or not? It's really pretty lame. We're going to have fun playing Tales with everyone. Uh, But yeah. There's a, there is a poll over on Twitter about it and an announcement, but the better poll is in the disco in my discord. If you want to join it, there's a link in the about section and that one has like the two different times and the days a week that people might be able to make it. So I can kind of correlate the best time to the best day to reach the most people. Because if you haven't heard, the my work changed my hours to a 10 a.m. PST to 10 p.m. PST, which is really going to very thoroughly fuck up what I'm able to my current streaming during my work week schedules, which sucks. But yeah, not much I can do about it. So just trying to get that out there. And I'll, I'm thinking about moving the poll that's in the about section for the next game we play to the Discord as well. So if people want to be in those polls, join the Tea House Discord. It's a pretty nice place. I try to work on it. But, you know. Anyway, so let's uh, get to the game. I think that's all I got for you. Uh, thanks for the power patch, Shira. Yeah, blue screen. Not blue. Let's go. Hey, Crystal. How you doing today? My data will sum up a gun. Aw, thank you. I'm guessing you're referring to the, uh... Sandy's, uh... What was Smasher Pass turned into Smash Pass or Date? Because she probably realized there was too many ladies on there that she wouldn't hit smash on just because they were ladies. <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty fun one. And it was had a lot of fun yesterday with that. Rue's the exception because it's Rue. <laughs> yeah. I think Sandy was, you know. Well, if it ain't the blazing sword and his merry question. crew. Mother? Hey, this man's alive. You're still alive. Of course I am. If you land lovers can make it out of that sinking ship alive, ain't no reason an old sea dog like me wouldn't too. Yeah, he's yeah, alive, chat. But that wave hit hard. I'm glad to see you're okay. Sorry we put you in so much danger back there. All water under the bridge at this point. You helped make one of my life's dreams come true. The ship, on the other hand, she took a bit of a beating, though. I'll admit. Yeah, really? the Mandarin. What happened to it? It looks fine to me on the outside. She's fine now, but she was in rough shape when I made it back here. Engine chamber gave up the ghost. 
Without a lot of options, I decided to talk to the head honcho of the Dark Wings and see if he could help at all. And wouldn't you know it, Crazy Fool sent over Renan engineers to help. Can you believe it? Huh. Renan? Yep. Said they came from Menencia. They were real professionals. Did what they needed to and didn't give me guff or anything. I was damn near floored. So they did the work themselves. Good on them. Well, they did a bang up job because she's better than ever now. Yeah, our boat's Speaking fixed. Of which, I take it she's why you're here? Yes. We need to get out on the ocean and fast. When can we set sail? Give the man a minute Rally. to think it over. Already so he fast hasn't today. even said yes yet. It's all right, little lady. I'm a man of the sea. I'll gladly help. Hop aboard, folks. Okay. That seems over. I don't have to worry about cutting off. I ban another bot. And, like, that's early in the stream for a bot, man. Tell you what. Okay. Click, click, click. Roll, click. Okay. We're good. We set sail, chat. Well, this thing looks problematic. This thing already looked plenty huge from afar. But seeing it up close makes it really hit home. I didn't expect the journey to go so smoothly. I figured the Renans would send something to sink us. Maybe they didn't think we had the nerve to come. Somehow, I kind of doubt that. It's entirely possible they don't see us as a threat. What do you mean? That they think they're beyond our reach. Still, this structure is quite the unusual sight. Yeah. Truth be told, never seen anything like it. Kind of weird. Right. It doesn't look like the buildings on Lenigus at all. Or like any Renan structure for that matter. It's weird. It doesn't feel like the kind of thing that has people inside either. Probably doesn't. Yeah, it's definitely something creepy. What the hell is it even made of? I don't know. It's not mechanical or biological, but it's definitely alive in some way. Uh-oh. What's up, Renwell? <sighs> Shion? I'm okay. It's nothing. Is it nothing, Shion? Well, what is it now? nothing? We have to stop this thing from siphoning off all of Dana's astral energy. That means finding the core and smashing it to bits. Okay, but look at the size of it. I don't know if we'll find the core just wandering around. Good point. Can anyone get a read on the astral energy around us? Any kind of a sign? There's a rather enormous flow of energy moving directly upwards. If we wish to follow it, we'll have to do some climbing. <sighs> Uh, Renwell? Renwell? Over there? Hey, what's up with you? Huh? I... What is Renwell up okay? to? What happened? I'm not sure. When I was reaching out to the astral energy, I thought I heard... a voice. A voice? Yeah, I couldn't make out any words, but it sounded like it wanted me to come to it. Interesting, Renoir. Well. like a trap, right? It's not a trap. How can you tell? Listen, I don't know why, but when it spoke to me, I knew it wasn't hostile. Hmm. What do you think? It could well be a trap. However, it's also our only real option, short of wandering aimlessly about. Yeah, makes a good point. 
Let's wander aimlessly, chat. Let's trust Rinwell on this. <sighs> you sure? Yeah. It beats the alternative, I guess. <laughs> what did I say? Sheesh, it's like walking on eggshells around here. Sometimes you have to choose your words more carefully, Law. Huh? Oh, uh, right. Silly, Law. Rinwell, attuned mage. Cool. Increase normal attack limit. That's nice. Everyone but him is currently pretty stocked up. We're not it's able to get anything, here, I mean. Things should calm down a little once we're through with this place. Optimistic as always. Nothing in the corner. Up here? What about down here? A lot of area with nothing. Okay, there's an entrance. Okay, this looks weird. So, give me a little alien vibes looking at the current architecture. The wedge. See that the interior of the wedge is every bit as strange and unusual as the exterior. Yeah. Intriguing. If I didn't see it come from Lenigus, I wouldn't believe it was Renan. Just what's with this place? I don't know. Yeah, Chad. it's all twisty and lumpy. Whatever it's all for, I'm stumped. Orange shell. What is this? Well, this is like the only thing that looks like real technology. Everything else is like an organic technology. Okay. There are enemies in here. What level are they? 38. We gunfight. Not the thing I expected to happen when I hit the to the uh that doesn't work what we need to do too much. But I went to hit the button for the flame strike. Have you ever thought of wielding two at once? Would be double the firepower and plenty of style to boot. What use is style when it's life or death? But style, chat. There's a ladder. Doorway. I want to see this ladder thing. There. There is a climb. Oh. Tiger Blade chat. Wait, what happened to Elfin? I don't know what happened to Elfin. I mean, he lost some health there, but... 
I can feel my power growing. Curse charm. A charm that wards off curse as well as boosts elemental defense. The fairest people up to no good are known to wear them oh, as precautions. This is amazing. <laughs> you always get excited when you find something good. We should hurry and get this stuff processed. Do do do. Alright. Now let's go this way. Fight me, plants. I'll do my best. Radiant Pierce! Radiant Pierce! Oh, get out of this! Oh, Radiant Pierce! Oh, Radiant Pierce! Oh, Radiant Pierce! Oh, 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 I'm out of ammo! Oh, 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 anything in armor is all right! Oh! Back into the fray! Do one more! It's gonna hurt! Another one down! Knock the fray! Talon Hurricane! Radiant Pierce! Radiant Pierce! Commander of heaven. Yeah, Commander of Heaven. Let's go, chat. Let's go. Okay. You're apparently able to open whatever that was. This is all Vanna's astral energy. Are you saying the Renans are funneling it through here to send to Lenigus? Sure looks like it. We have to put a stop to it. Quickly. Yeah, I think you're right about that one, my guy. No movement, no life, Lady right, Fortune chat? Must truly be watching over me. Ooh, some fly, spiky ones. It'll be a breeze. Get in, get out. I can carve through. Definitely where we're meant to be right now. Your wings won't save you from me. Oh, yeah, fire that the wrong direction, my lady. Good. Just have to make sure we keep it. Don't worry. I'll crush you. Yeah, crush him, Law. Lightning reflexes. Tenebrous claw. I'm almost up to give up the pressure. Damn. Always one shot short. I feel like. This could be useful. Probably use a little bit of our CP to this recover seems health. Strange. Like it should be among creatures you'd find in a forest. Cut it out! I don't need to hear that. It's got to be man-made, right? Or it's so. It would not be any easier hmm. to predict. Remain vigilant. <laughs> I hear goopies. I see goopies. They're trying to goop me, chat. How are you doing today, Crystal? Oh. Huh. Damn. That one was still too high in the air. Wish they were all that easy. Yeah. Or at least punching. Getting too strong. Punching through them pretty fast. Play along, would you? Meow. No choice. Sighted. And again. Not today. First strike. Heard it. Right. Here I come. Here. 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 Mega Ray. Oh, <laughs> he died before I could do the fancy finisher. You really make weapons with this? 
Okay. Couple different places we can go, apparently. Guess let's try this one. It is the closest one. Okay, no enemies, but pineapple gel. Fine. Some spiky boys. Out of our way. You picked the wrong fight. I'm on earth. Yeah, we got him. That training's paying off. Burn strike, chat. I killed both the last two. For some good weapon crafting material. What's my jump button? Okay. I feel like every time I play this, I have to be like, wait, hold on. What was my jump button? Ooh, we made it. Look at us go. We have the most hops. Continue up the Tower of Doom. Well, that was a scary little picture. This place definitely isn't easy to navigate. That's for sure. And I doubt this structure hmm. was conceived with the ease of people's movement in mind. Yeah. We've been seeing nothing but Zoogle nests. It's almost as if we're inside an incredibly immense spirit vessel of some sort. A spirit vessel? If that's the case, then that would make Lenigus the master core that's huh. receiving all the astral energy. Hey, have you heard that voice again since we came in here? Oh, so now you believe me. I never said I didn't believe you. <sighs> the further in we go, the stronger fight, the voice fight, gets. Fight. Is that a sign we're going the right way then? Fight, fight, fight. Where's this kiss, voice kiss, coming kiss. from? What? Can you tell? Yeah, kind of. I hear it inside me, but I feel like it's also coming from every direction around us. It's hard to describe. It's almost like it's surrounding me. Surrounding, huh? Hmm. Considering astral energy is involved, it's not that unusual. Right, but it's not scary or anything. Listening to it is really soothing. If you think so, just promise you'll say something if the voice gets too clingy or anything. I promise. Yeah. Flame it voice. Okay. Might as well go in here and get this crystal. No backing down. I'll bring you back from no death to death. Here I go. Do it more. Red well. Astral energy. And that group got just been doing really great lately. Super annihilated. Boom! We got the blue bar. Let's get in some more fights while we can. Time to heal our one buddy. Punch. Prepare to be seen. Actually, more appropriate. bound. Oh, he's into some kinky stuff. Oh, shit. These ones definitely are hurting us better. Can you not knock me out of the healing circle? 
kind of need healing right now. I'm even stronger than before. That was slightly problematic, chat. I got beat up. How do you think we deal with these? Blazing sword, I guess. It worked. Stamina ring. Ring that ha that may have the AG cost of an art when casting. Maybe it's time I try on something new. Yeah. What's with that shining foe over there? Shining friend. Go gun. Yeah, hard boot, my guy. Step back. This one's all lost. Oh, uh, this is still blazing sword time. Getting a lot of rings in this place. A uh, ring that may revive the wearer from KO. We got some good equipment. Nice. I can't say its appearance is to my tastes personally. Oh, it's a big one. Come on, get me there before the blue bar runs out. I want the extra XP from killing it. It's only level 34 though. Lock it down, please. Or Mega Ray in chat. Healing art. There you go. That should keep them all healed up, right, chat? Boop. Punch him. Uh oh. Give him the old chop. Okay, it's only 34, but it was way stronger. With your flames and my technique, we're stronger together than we are apart. We got an elixir. Love it. Let's go, must go. No backing down. Radiant Pierce. Shoot the laser beam. The hell? Oh. Easy peasy lemon squeezy chat. 
That's some power you wield. You're the one who did the heavy lifting. Ooh, money. We definitely need that after some of our expenditures trying to stay above water. Okay. What are you? Okay, so this is a teleporter to the entrance. In case we wanted to leave. Does seem to be the way of a lot of this. Okay, one of them's down. Get him locked. Boop. A victory for the ages. Combat completed. Let's go. We've sure climbed up a long way, haven't we? Watch your step ahead. With no fencing in place, it would be quite hazardous to fall. Oh yeah. But by hazardous you mean you're gonna die, then yes. <clears throat> Quite hazardous indeed. Look sharp. Yeah. Lightning. Lightning tiger something. Let's go. We killed another one while they were comboing. I missed the combo on it, chat. Big sad. Hold up. Is this as valuable as I think it is? I don't know. But... Wait, there's something out there. What do I... Oh. I missed the sparkles within the sparkles. Ooh, red chest. They got me flying. Take this. What did I did I just shoot that at nothing? That's a big set. Oh, let him. Let's go. Leave the ensnaring to me. The big one. Boom. And now everyone's gonna be stacked up on the last one, which is definitely a really good time to have this AoE area effect to heal. I wish I had an AoE heal that was just heal everyone, they don't have to stand in something. Because that can get real hit or miss. Nightly vest. Or is that King? Kingly vest. Let me take a look at it. Law's a king now. You hear, chat? Okay. Just barely got there in time. Commander of Heaven! Phoenix Strong! 
No art, please. Unless it's sheer dry, then that's fine. With your flames and my technique, we're stronger together than. The bloom. The design of this equipment is. Okay, so now we're starting to get some armor, which is really cool. Whose was that? Dolahim. Really interesting. You must really like it, Alfin. Oh wow, what are these? Get lost! The flame inside is sure. Ignite! It's like they're both coming at me, I don't like it. Hydrate! Hey Viv! Thanks for the hydrate, Viv. Ah, uh, sis, get that hydrate. How you doing today, Viv? You having a good day? Gun, gun, gun. Get the punch Don't double cast that, please. They do have a charge that I didn't realize. Get it, bro. Good hits, buddy. Good hits. him real good chat this should come in handy when crafting weapons I'm thinking we're gonna be able to craft a lot of weapon increases if we find a merchant We go and grabbing spear pangolin. Give me this hex hex breaker. Not bad. Turn the tables on. There are still more left. 
No time to hold back. I never miss. Rip it to be I'm go. There we go. Plant monsters dealt with. Guess we climb here. Trying to see some of the items in here. It's a little harder than usual. Yeah. Right, here goes. I'll bring you back from down right, here. Radiant one more. Here. Radiant here. Radiant here. Radiant here. Dare you apart. I can carve through the wall. I'll kill you all. Flying freaks. Like you did just fit your own. Shield, can you take care of them? No sooner said than done. Damn it. Too fast. Stand back. They're all I can do this all day. Not today. Guardian Healing Circle. Here's a healing Healing Circle. That should get them all. Why'd you heal me? Why'd you heal me to stop you dying? Go for it. Why'd you heal me to stop you from dying, dummy? Not by a long shot. Can't get out of this. Make it rain. Boop, boop. We're in good form. And we climb. We be climbing, going. Out of our way. Not today. Where are you going? Yeah. And we're stacking these up real well against these guys. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, we're about to break it. And then I was like, nope. Yard. Yard's gonna just freaking go hard on him. <laughs> she really is going hard on him. She's triggering every single one of the attacks. I knew there was something here I needed to grab. Nyom. Fighting two of these biggins. I won't forgive you. Ready and Pierce, Jack. Mega Ray. Okay. Don't change targets on me, please, game. Yeah, crush him. Crush him, boss. I see the follower by bot. 
<clears throat> T is already a wonderful goddess and famous in many hearts. Aw, thank you so much, Felix. That's very sweet. We have banned the bot. Or the bot of the street. Okay. These guys are really deciding they want to get knocked out over here. So how you doing, Felix? Thank you, all. Probably saved me from getting a hammer to my face right there. How you doing? How's the cute Felix today? I need to be stronger. Okay. Our CP is not doing super hot. I'm sleepy. Sleepy cat, but enjoying the weekend? Well, that's good. Okay, we can't access that menu right now. Why on the ladder, apparently? Oh, wait, maybe we don't need to. Okay, good. We don't need to. Crystal! Yeah, I was kind of sleepy today, too. Not, like, high energy, so... Apologies if today's stream is a little... Lower energy. But I'm twine. Twine real hard. Let's, um... Oh, four... Wow! <laughs> Did not realize we already hit 41. When you're fighting things, like, at your level, you level pretty quickly in the game, so... Apparently, that's kind of the trick. Okay. Some sort of weird plant. Here? It's here? <laughs> yes. All the energy flowing through the wedge comes together and collects here. Is that thing a zoogle? Holy crap, it's huge! A central core and a guardian? Once we beat that thing, it'll stop the wedge from taking in any more astral energy, right? Maybe. It seems we're in for a fight regardless. Here it comes. Stay sharp, everyone! Well, it's 41, we're 41. I guess it worked out perfectly. I don't know if that machine or what, but I do know it's pissing me off! Watch yourself. There is no knowing what it is capable of. Any other wisdom you want to pass along? Holy crap. Good thing I got out of there. Here I go. Now I'm in the Rising Wyvern. Radiance here. I'm out of ammo. You're mick again. Pathetic. Good luck, my friends. Rocket show. Glimmer will this help? Just get it started. Rising Wyvern. I'm throwing light spear. You're right. Radiance show. I'm just getting started. I never miss. Eagle assault. Flaming shot. Ready to go. Eagle assault. We got the advantage. Good. Just have to make sure we keep it. Don't worry, cause law's on. Armor won't punch it, law. Take this. Here I go. One more. Okay, resisted that pretty heavily. Okay, it kind of froze, but, you know, I'll take it. Gun, gun, gun. Run. Run. Run, run, run. run. It's time. 
Gun and run, chat. Gun and run. I don't know how I'm getting my grenades back so fast, but I'm not going to complain about it. Yeah, this thing's going down pretty quick. It's kind of concerning, honestly. Hit it with the fire. Fight first fire. going on what's up kinda we're just playing some tales of arise how are you today sugar uh -huh. yeah you get a cookie called sugar I don't know. Doing pretty all right, all things considered. Yeah. I hope you, you know, take some time for yourself. Have a good day. Yeah, which one? One moment. Technically, I, I mostly play as Xion, but they're all pre-made characters. So I didn't like create any. Right. Thanks for the health, Dandy Gob. Welcome in. How you doing, Gob? And a health pet. Head pet. Health pet. Health pet, head pet. Oh, Ooh, that felt good. Rima, are you okay? Hey, are you crying? I'm not the only one. Damn. I heard it. He's only a little teared up. I heard it. As did I. I'm not sure I'd call it a voice, but it was there. What in the world just happened? All the gooey energies change color. That was Dana's astral energy we just encountered. And I think what we heard might have been its voice. You're saying astral energy has a mind of its own? I haven't the slightest idea. But do you remember what happened when we fought Balsef back in Calaglia? You mean when that fire monster came out of the spirit vessel? 
Exactly. There was such a huge overflow of astral energy, it caused a monster to spawn and take physical form. Maybe the hmm. same thing happened here, just with way more astral energy and a bigger monster. Does that mean if you gather enough astral energy, it can become sentient or take a physical form? That's what I'm guessing, but it's just speculation. Master cores are able to hold a lot more energy than a spirit vessel. But we still haven't seen hmm. anything like that happen in our dealings with them. That being said, there may be a mechanism of sorts inside master cores and spirit vessels that prevents such reactions. That fire monster. I remember how it only appeared after Balsef's spirit vessel broke. Then the reason Rinwell was able to sense all that astral energy earlier must have been because it was too much for that Zoogle to contain by itself. So, then where do you think the Zoogle went? All that energy and poof, it's gone. The Zoogle with it. Doesn't that sound weird to anyone? Yeah. Indeed it does. However, in order for us to move our hypothesis forward, uh, sleepy cop? we will need to gather more evidence Well, that's not first. too bad. It is a weekend. Note, how are you holding up, Rinwell? But I'm glad you're doing I okay. I just can't work out why. Why the voice reached out to me first. Rinwell? Because you're a mage. I can't help but wonder if it's because of my heritage that I was the one to hear it. Yeah, I'd say so. S sorry. That's a strange thing to think, isn't it? No, not anyway, really. Anyway, we should get going, right? We need to make sure the energy flow has actually stopped. For everyone curious, Runwell is a mage, a Dan who can, like, inherently use astral We're arts. We're gonna have to take this winding path all the way so... down, too. Yeah, but if anything, it should be easier than the climb up. There's really? a high probability well, that actually, because of I've her innate connection, she was able to hear it. When going down. Seriously? Eh. Poor Law. Law's so beat. Yeah, the cutscene, a lot of the cutscenes are very much like, ooh, my footsteps. That's noticed. But the cutscenes are very comic-like for the most part. They have a couple that are more traditional as well that have been popping up now. But let's see, and they also have these right bumper things that pop up, which are like extra Everything story. Kind of looked like you wanted more, to get like, something character off your connection chest. and stuff, which is really huh? cool. Oh, um, or not, you know, whatever. Yeah, um, you know. Yeah. Sorry, never mind. Just forget it. <sighs> you want to try being a little less cryptic, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Arr, get him! All right, all right, jeez. Get him out. Taking an interest. Stop it! It's okay, Hoodle. Sorry, I guess I still don't really know how to put it into words. Nah, that's fine. No rush. It might help you to talk about it, though. I'll keep that in mind. And thanks. Alright. I wonder what happens if I go back in the room. It's locked. Of course it is. You think there's gonna be more Zoogles to fight on the way down? Or you think... Yep, they're back. We gotta fight our way out of here, chat. Drop attack. No choice. I'll bring you back from Ready to go. Radiant Uh oh. <laughs> that was slow. And punch this man. You got any cool plans today, Gob? Kinda? Or just kind of a chill, sleepy day? Don't run out of the healing circle. What's wrong with you all? Mega Ray. Damn, my team's really getting their ass kicked this time around. I don't know what I'd do without you. I'll crush you! Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! Oh. Yeah, they're both getting beat up like equally, and that's a problem. Here. 
I still haven't figured out how to force the party to like focus fire a target. ones now because we definitely do a lot better and kill things a lot quicker if we focus fire them right and usually take a lot less damage too boom lightning tiger blade chat oh guess we don't know our own strength you could say that again Wait, did he finally change his line to like playing along with it? I'll do my best. Where are you going? Double team and burn. That's funny. For the longest time, they've just been like, he's like, oh, is that a problem? And Law's just like, hey, man, you gotta play along better. And it sounds like he's finally playing along. I need to uh, get to the gro- go get some groceries at some point, but other than that, probably it's a chill day. Thank you, Doodle. Ooh, Doodle. Gob art. Need more gob art. Am I on a roll or what? Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. Ow. I didn't land on the enemies properly. I'll do my best. Oh damn. Now I'm real mad. Team got really jacked up real fast all of a sudden there. So much for sitting this fight out. That sounds fun. I also need to go get some groceries, honestly. I've just been putting it off. I really like the combat system. I know like I've gotten used to it, but I have had people come in and be like you know, that the their voice lines get a little repetitive or overlapping too much, but I don't really mind it myself. But that, like, every combo has a, like, ending combo thing you can do, which is really cool. I mean, aside from adjusting for movement, wind speed, trajectory... See? Easy. Wait, that one's back. Oh, wait, I never... Did I never get it? No? Was back, but the other one wasn't. You need this so much. It's actually really good. I highly recommend getting it. I definitely would say, given your general, like, uh, a lot of these JRPGs and stuff you play, this would definitely be in your wheelhouse. I know people kind of want me to play some of the other Tales games. Mostly just tracing reps. I mean, that's not bad, though. I've thought about getting back into drawing a little, but I haven't done it since I was, like, really young. Po -po -po. Currently, my level is stick figure. But yeah, so... This is our team of people. We have Alfin, Shion, La, uh, Isara, uh, Dolahim, and Rindwell. And you can have, you can put these guys over here. And this will be the team that goes into battle, and these are support guys. But you can swap them out. You can also change the flag. So the change leader thing will change which one you play in battle. And then if you're out here and you do change party leader, if I go down to like Dolahim, I can now run around as Dolahim. So you can just choose which character you want to spend the most time as. It got me CSP when it was on sale, so I'm playing around and learning how to use it. Oh, nice. I hear CSP is a really good one. A lot of people seem to be using it recently. So that's really cool. Sprint, 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 sprint. Don't need 
there. Don't need them there. We got some more of these big boys to kill. So I am streaming. I've been taking all the chances I can get for fights. Ow, I got just smacked into the ground here. Ah, thank you to the pet, Sheila. Oh. Like a lot of people picked it up during the sale. Yeah. It seems like everyone that is doing art that I know of right now is using it. At least when they mention the program they're using. Ah, leave me alone. I'm a good bell. Smack. And boom. But I'd have to get like some sort of art tablet. I feel like to feel like I could do very or do what I'd want to do. Oh damn! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! You take a lot of damage, you get like a limit break that you can perform. Boom. Done with this man since he clapped me in the face. So far I've found I love Radiant Pierce because it foams and does quite a bit of damage. So it doesn't miss a lot. And uses my grenade resource. Gun, gun, gun. And if you dodge at the right time, you get like a special attack. Thing, which is really cool. I'll crush you. Ah, the man's almost dead. Leave him alone. Sandy, welcome in. Sandy, how's the awesome Kasune today? Yeah. Ah. I still got a ways to go. You're going for the whole thing, aren't you? Yep. You. Hey, Sandy. How you doing today? When's our uh, date? You said you won the date, right? <laughs> Thank you for the postures and hydrates. I choose death. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? Let's dispose of the trash. P, we can have P. Do, 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 do. He's the Sandy is the way. We got the advantage. Good. Just have to make sure we keep it. Don't worry, because you're like here than you look. Can't change the future without getting your hands dirty. Dramatic. Go for it. Prepare to crumble. I'm ready for the next battle. Da na na na. Na na. Must go down the tower, farming up the XP. Right here. Yeah. Can't go that way. How dare. We're almost out of our food buff. What's with that shining bow over there? I don't know. There's like two of them with shiny bows. Oh man, I hope I live long enough to regret this. My whole body feels. Hey, you need someone to take a look over you? Sure. Just be thorough. Hey, I've got this. Let him mark. Now there's a funny one. 
Not what I expected to happen, but I'll take it. Hope we got Dolan again. He does sound pretty nice, though. Do you like key around here? My friend just sent me a picture that he got some Iron Goddess tea. I was like, hmm. I like everything about what I'm hearing. Am I on a roll or what? Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. Big one's the golden one. Hold it still. They're all too spread out for the AoE one. Which is pretty sad for me. Can't believe that ended the whole ass fight, honestly. Okay, where is there's the way down? Come on. There we go. We are going Man, all the way down. I'm famished. We ran out of our food buff chat. I'm pretty sad. Right, here goes. That is going to lower our combat effectiveness a little bit. So I think almost every character has some bonuses they get. I think Law is... That was fine. Boop. There's more where that came from. Yeah, there is. Let's go. Because we were massively underleveled for some of the stuff we were able to go to. So, taking the chance to get some uh, XP farm in. Oop, that one managed to avoid. There we go. How are you doing today, Sandy? Are you having a good day? Get him now. Lightning reflexes! Ten of us Watch this! I'm all stuffed up! Eagle Pierce! 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 
No. Stop it. That one kind of reminds me of like uh, Final Fantasy VII, one of the cloud limit breaks. Probably the cross thing, because he does have like cross slash. I wonder where you come up with those moves. I could say the same to you. <laughs> Good thing we're on the same. It'll be a breeze. Get in, get out. Radiant Pierce. Radiant Pierce. No further. Where are you going? Am I on a roll or what? Well, look, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. All right, let's go get the other crystals that we can get. Especially while we have the blue bar going, there's a couple easy groups to hit. Eagle side. Say that again. Crap. No choice. Do Radiant Pierce. Radiant Pierce. Oh. Radiant Pierce. I never fit. Here I come. Radiant Pierce. Oh. Radiant Pierce. Oh. Radiant Pierce. Oh. I'm out of ammo. Oh. Take this. Mega Ray. No, thank you. Commander of Heaven. Phoenix Yeah. Nice technique. Oh, crap. Claw right after, eh? Lightning reflexes. Tenebrous Claw. Is there anything more magnificent than the musculature of a warrior? Perhaps it is in search of this perfect beauty that I myself am drawn into battle. Hmm. That's Ibaka. My guy. That enemy looks strong. Don't I don't know if we got it in, in time. You tell me. You picked the wrong fight. Oh. Now you see what I can do. Flying freaks. Can you take care of them? Go for it. Prepare to crumble. Think we overdid it? Not by a long shot. Take this. One more. Radiant Pierce. Radiant Pierce. Radiant Pierce. Put this man down. Easy breezy cover girl chat. 
Step back. Oh. This one's all locked. What's with that shining foe over there? And the way down is just nothing but shinies, apparently. This one's tough. Where are you going? Now you see what I can do. Rising Falcon. Mega Ray. Watch this. Mega Ray. Let's go. 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 We... Great. Now I'm hurt and dirty. He's hurt and dirty, chat. Yeah, get get him here. Hold on. I hope I live long enough to regret this. Can't get out of this. Here, falling here. Radiant here. I'm out of ammo. Here's a healing arc. We barely managed to turn. Please stop. I don't not want you hit by that. Perhaps I'll put more faith in you then. Well, I certainly won't argue. That probably won't hurt the other one. Yeah. Nope. I like when they turn her shield into a giant crystal sword. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. Come here, creatures. Out of our way. Looks like it could be worth something. Do, do, do. And out. Oh. Fight me, creatures. No choice. Radiant Pierce falling. Oh. Radiant Pierce. Oh. All finish right here. Radiant Pierce. Oh. I'm out of here. See what oh. happened there as you crossed. Going in. Shouldn't have done that. Far enough. Hurricane oh. can't get out of here. Oh. 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 Damn. Lost getting up on a lot of these combos. We should really use them more often. That would be less mystic. Okay, we've almost made it out. We may get out of this alive after all. Yeah, I mean, we definitely will. I'm pretty sure we can handle anything. Prepare to crumble, chat. The crumble, crumble, toil and crumble. Truly a trackless path. Yeah, I think that was it. We beat all the monsters, chat. Well, it looks like that beam of light has stopped. Then is it safe to say we've avoided oblivion for the time being? I can still sense a faint glimmer of energy, though. It hasn't completely dispersed. You can tell? 
Rinwell, your senses seem a lot sharper than before, don't they? And you said you heard that voice, right? Uh -oh. I guess, maybe. I don't know. I don't maybe the bad, real though. monsters are friends we made along the way. Oh no, Crystal. Not the real monsters. If Not our friends. Amounts, however small, do remain, then it leaves us no choice. We must destroy the entire structure. What uh, do you suggest? How? We bring it down piece by piece? Once that's done, what do we do then? <laughs> hmm. This is a little large. Bring it down piece by piece we might be a problem. To uh. Even if we could destroy the whole wedge like he suggested, it'd only buy us time. The fact they sent this thing down tells me they're not giving up this planet without a fight. There's also the matter of the Renis Alma. Its circumstances still have yet to be truly resolved. Yeah, that's true. But how do we even get to Lenigus? What if we hotwire one of their starships? There's got to be one on the planet somewhere, right? Starships are only seen on Dana at the start and end of the Crown Contest. Otherwise, they remain on Lenigus. Believe it or not, we Renans down here aren't quite as free to come and go as one might think. Great. Well, I'm out of ideas then. We definitely don't have the tech to hmm. build a starship. And even if we found a Renan who'd help, who knows how long that'd take. Yeah. Waiting for a starship to come down from Lenigus would probably be quicker than that. I bet we know where one is. Wait. Alfin, when you came down from Lenigus, it had to have been in a starship of your own, right? Right. Oh, of course. You there can't you go. Be serious. That was 300 years ago. There's no way it's still gonna work. But Alfin didn't wake up until a few years ago. That means it had to have still been functioning that whole time to keep his body preserved. Indeed. You wouldn't happen to remember where you landed, would you? My memories around where I parked are still a little hazy, but I do know that I woke up in Calaglia. Yeah, so chances are I think I know where to go. At least it's a place to start. Luckily, that realm's my old stomping ground, so I should be able to get us some help finding her. Yeah, let's go chat. <sighs> Pretty sure I already know where to this go. This is it. Yeah. As long as Lenigus stands there, there's no avoiding it. So what? What's this help in Calaglia you're planning to enlist? My buddy, Nath. If anyone there knows something, I figure it's him. But first, we need to catch a boat and get back to the mainland. Yeah. All right, buddy. Sounds like everything went well. What say we set sail and make our way back? Yeah, let's do it. Let's sail back, chat. We're sailing away. Our first port of call is Ulzebek. Back where you first started out. Yeah, along with my dad. <sighs> You okay? Come sail yeah, away so with good. me. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm just a little seasick. That's all. Liar. <laughs> huh? You heard me. You've never been good at hiding your emotions, Xion. Excuse me? Just what do you... <sighs> no. You're right. I'm sorry. Ooh, personal growth. Is it about Alfin? No, not just him. The water's making weird sounds, but okay. Something you can't talk about? No. Well, ah! Um, hey, Kimi, I'm how you doing? Like the rest of you. Of course you are. <sighs> Welcome no, to the tea I'm house. Curious. Back when we first met. I think maybe then I did think we were different. But now I know that isn't true. You and I are the same, Xion. 
We're alike in more ways than you know. Yeah. <laughs> if any of us is different, it's me. I'm a Danon who can use magic. I may be the last. My family and I have been living in hiding as long as I can remember. Everyone has their own pain that can be hard for other people to understand. <laughs> Gimme. I saw gimme. the two of you talking and thought you could use a third wheel. So, here I am. <laughs> Sorry. If anyone's the odd one out here, it's me. Believe me, you don't want to listen to my problems. Want me to go? I didn't say that. Mm. I get that you must have a lot circling around that head of yours. And that's okay. Whatever's worrying you right now, you're allowed to worry about it. And you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. I know I'm not a Renin like you, or a mage like Rinwell. I'm not a sovereign, maiden, or lord. I'm just a Danon who used to be a slave. But regardless of all that, I'm here for you, Xion. That goes for me too. We all want to be there for you. Me and Hoodle and even the boys. <laughs> I promise. Pretty good game, Kimi. I quite enjoyed I mean, it. That is what friends are supposed to do, right? <laughs> I think we're a little over halfway now. I said this to Alfin, and now I'll say it to you. You're not alone in this. Thank you. Renwell. Kisara. And right on cue, I think I should make my way back and lie down for a bit. <laughs> my battle with this ship continues. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> I better head back too. We wouldn't want the guys thinking they're in charge. Can you imagine Law at the helm? Who knows what kind of trouble we'd get into. Silly, silly. Can't start anything heavy until after next Friday. What do you do until next Friday, Kimi? Still, if that's true, then it's all the more reason I have to do this. She has to do something, but she's not telling us about it. It's a problem. Rise my subathon. Ooh. Subathon. Kimi thon. Island treatment. Okay, what's this? Uh, all right. Something is definitely up with Xion. Yeah, something big by the looks of it. I've never seen her so serious. So. Which is saying something for her. Think we should say something to Alfin then. Head desk. I was wondering the same Don't thing put your head myself. in the desk. But then it occurred to me. Hmm. Whatever this thing on her mind is, it's probably the last thing in the world she wants people to know about. <sighs> if she's trying this hard to keep it secret. Then it's not really our place to go telling people before she's ready. Yeah. I can't tell them. There's... There's just no way I could, right? I... What am I supposed to do? I think you should probably tell them. I want to know as well, so tell me. Eon. Eon, what is it? Here from and see to escort the Renin colleague of mine. There were our worries people would be alarmed if they only brought armored soldiers. Even then, everyone was still nervous. Easy to forget just how tense things are. Yeah. I'm not ready. If I could head desk any harder, I'd be mistaken for a karate master. <laughs> You'd also have to buy a new desk, which would be extra problematic for you. Yeah, there's a new quest in Pelgin. And there's just the ones we already have. Guess we can go see what this quest is about. Real quick. Real quick side quest chat. Let's go. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey there, Elfin. Nice to see you. Wow. Tessa, 
Did you come from Klaga to help out with things here? Mm. Sure did, I heard what happened. Sounds like these people had it even worse than we did. If you can believe it, they might be physically free, but a lot of them still have a long way to go mentally. It seems so. I actually have some knowledge about treating mental health issues, so I'm going to try and help them think independently while I'm here. Thank you. That'd be great, but how do you plan to help them? Simple, by sitting down and talking with them one by one, asking questions, seeing how they respond, and counseling them. That makes sense. Wish I had the time and ability to do that kind of stuff ourselves, but we don't, really. Stop feeling like you have to shoulder everything yourself, Alpin. You'll burn yourself out. You know what? Maybe you and I could sit down together for a session. What do you say? What? what? You really think I need canceling that badly? <laughs> eh. No, but getting so defensive, I just want to gauge how you're doing mentally right now. Oh, right. Well, Great. sure. Let's see how this works. Yeah. Great. All right. I want you to answer a serious series of questions for me. Everybody needs counseling? Whatever. I don't need counseling, Kimi. Totally cool. Most of the time. <laughs> uh, first question. Do you think too... Don't think too deeply. Just go with your gut. What's your favorite type of astral energy? Um... Hmm. Fire. How do you like to fight? Close quarters. What's the most important thing in your life? Friends. There's a wall standing your way. What do you do? Hmm. Fine. Have you heard any mysterious voices before? I might have come to think of it. And all the questions for you now for your results. You're a sweet, innocent mage. You have an honest and cheery personality that naturally draws people to you. You know what to say in any situation without hurting someone's feelings, but be careful. Some might think you have a ulterior motive. Wow. You know, I never really thought of myself. Hey, Jay. No, no bonk bell. Bell, good bell. You know, I never really thought of myself like that. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. If you ever want any, another session, come by and talk. You got some SP. Want to know your personality? Take a quirky quiz. <laughs> it seems that way. I wish I could get an examination. Well, if you say so. Uh oh. Let me see. Uh, yes, you're in well, all right. If only your brain could keep up with your mouth. I mean, I'm sure he'd give Renwell a different kind of examination, if you know what I mean. Okay. We can go to Uzbek now. First time he's annoyed at this quiz. Huh. That shouldn't have been a result. <laughs> ah, Calaglia. It feels like it's been ages. And wasn't Zephyr with us, too? Dad. Hey, chin up! This is your hometown. All right, what is this? Everyone around message? here looks so much happier than they used to. I'll say, it feels like an entirely different place. I suppose it's had time to adjust to its newfound freedom. Zephyr would have been so happy to see this. Yeah. Yeah, he really would have. Especially if he knew Law was. Law? <laughs> Something bothering you, Law? Nah, I... I'll be fine. It's just... you know. <laughs> it still weighs on you, doesn't it? Running away back then. I abandoned my home. Then when I finally come back, it's been liberated. Yeah. What's important is that it's free. I get that, I do. I just... Uh, I should have been here. Poor guy. Can't be everywhere. All right, let's take a in rest. Top off. See if we can make any new weapon. Craft. Okay, so now we can make his like highest tier weapon. Apparently, we jumped a couple stages here. That's just a giant fucking carrot. That's funny. 
So she needs a flame stone, but we can make this one get a little more damage there. We can clip that one for her. Yeah. We can make his tyrant this. Okay, she also needs a granite fragment, I suppose, but we can upgrade it a little. Oh, we need to refine staff for that one. Wait. We need to refine ten of her staff. Have a refined ten of her staff. Currently using it. Maybe I have to unequip it. Oh my god, I love the carrot. <laughs> it was uh, pretty cute. Increased normal attack for Alfin. Nice. <clears throat> okay, we need him to... Three point damage. We'll take those two for now. Neon, faster G recovery. Get the bonus to resistance. Love that for us. Increase mid-air damage is not bad. She has a couple other ones she can look into. Um, I guess Beast Assault? Looks like we can actually finish this whole thing. Plus 20 more attack for her. Love that. Finish this one for him. Get more defensees. Counter, Inferno Punch, Awakening Battle Chain. We'll start here. And for her, she just got... Increase Boost Strike, Increase Over Limit Extension. Get her Crossblade. Dolahim only has the one to work on, okay. Finish that for him. Resistance 30, love it. Have you got Okay, equipment. Push to that. Let's check your, your equipment lately. Okay, so that was the problem. He had it equipped. Alright. <clears throat> good, good, good. Happy, happy. Talk to this guy. Still won't let us. By sacrifice accessory, you can transfer one skill bonus to a different accessory. However, it can only be done if the accessories has been sacrificed, has reached the max level. Interesting. Okay, that's fine then. Time for a sleepy. Ooh, attack S. All right, Law, make us hey, dinner. Hey, that actually came out pretty all right, don't you think? Now we got our food buff back. We're stocked up on our CP and health again. And we should probably do the smart thing and hit up a man save as well. Just one thing after another, and it all falls on my head to... Hey, buddy. Hey, Nath. What? Can't you see I'm... Alfin? Looks like you have your hands full. As much as ever. As if I wasn't busy enough putting down the last remnants of Ren and Rule, I'm up to my ears in Dan and disputes. And then, yeah. to top it all off, that thing had to come crashing down from out of the sky. Pretty sure we've heard this somewhere before. But enough about my problems. What can I help you with? Yeah, we're looking for an old Renan starship. You wouldn't happen to know any around these parts, would you? Mm -hmm. A starship? 
What do you need one of those for? To get to Lenigus. Yep. Lenigus? Are you out of your damn mind? Believe it or not, it wouldn't be the craziest thing we've done recently. Yeah. Oh, I believe it. Well, either way, I'm afraid I haven't heard anything about a starship. Then do you have any historical records by chance? Sure, we've got stacks historical of old records. Historical records, chat. Mind if we take a look at them? Yeah, okay. Thanks, Nath. Yeah, Nath. I read through all of the records, but I only found a single line that might point to what we're looking for. It mentions a rock that shot across the sky and landed past the mountains. The event was recorded just before the first Renan invasion. And you think that might be the starship? I don't know. There was nothing else in the records that came Probably. even close. I mean, I know where to go already. It There's been a like rock we haven't been able to access Berg, the whole game. But maybe I'm reading it wrong. Bird. That ring any bells for you? Yeah, that's one of the biggest volcanoes in Calaglia. I was just there recently, investigating a report of a meteor someone saw. Another hmm. meteor in the same area? Really? I wonder if it could have been one of those lights that shot out of the wedge. All the more reason to check it out. Yeah. Can you tell us how to get there? The old Zion mine is up that way. One of the veins we abandoned connects to the volcano. Go ahead and use that. But you should be careful. Huh? I don't know if it has anything to do with the meteor. But there's a giant zoogle running riot in there. Never seen anything like it. Huh. Yeah, for boss fight. A zoogle, huh? Well, I turned back as soon as I caught sight of the thing. So I can't tell you much more. Just be real careful if you head out that way. Yeah, chat. Be careful. Hmm. Hey, are you ready yet or what? Oh, I didn't notice you there. Blazing sword, didn't I see? Hmm. Hmm? You're a law, aren't you, Zeph's kid? Damn, when did you get so tall? I can't believe a little pipsqueak like you is running around with a blazing sword himself. I'm sure your old man would be proud. All right. Go on ahead without me. I'll catch up later. You got it, boss. <laughs> see you around, law. Don't work too hard now. Hmm? Do you know that guy? I guess... Can't say I do, even if I met the guy before. Last time I would have seen them would have been when I was real little. You could have at least said hello back to him. I'm the reason my dad's gone, remember? You know how much they looked up to him here. Blah. Hmm. Sorry for getting a sidetrack. Let's just head out. Hmm. Hmm. Is Law doing okay? Not really. Zephyr's death is still weighing on pretty hard. Can't say I blame him, even if it's not his fault. That's a big thing to have to carry around at his age. Yeah, but he's trying his best to come to terms with it. I have faith he'll pull through. <laughs> face? Faith. Good, he just needs your support. He's still just a kid, and Zeph's, Zephyr's only one at that. Yeah. Only child. I didn't like the sound of that monster Nath was talking about one bit. Well, we have to press on. We're going through Zion Mine to Berg Volcano. Let's move. And right, what's this right bumper thing? Hoodle. Bad Hoodle. Everything okay with Hoodle, Rinwell? He seems kind of out of spirits. It must be the heat getting to him. We don't get these kind of temperatures back in Cislodia. Galaglians born and raised here struggle with it too, so it's no surprise. Aha! So that's why his plumage is so white. He was born in a winter wonderland. Oh, I don't know Actually, if that's it. Den and owls absorb the astral energy of whatever land they're raised in. Where they're born doesn't affect their appearance at all. But that's not why he's white. The real reason is that he's still just a baby. <laughs> you mean their plumage changes color depending on where they grow up? Weird. And with all this traveling we've been doing, it wouldn't surprise me if his wings ended up looking like a colorful painting. I think he suits his snowy complexion. It'll feel strange to see him change. How awesome would it be if his head and wings were different colors? And his stomach and sides, like a map of our travels! <laughs> <laughs> I'll lay off, will ya? So much for the heat making him docile! You've only yourself to blame for that one. Hoodle takes pride in his appearance, you know. Fascinating. An appreciation of aesthetic beauty in an owlet so young. 
Dohalim. I think you've drawn his attention. Uh oh. Uh oh, chat. All right. So this is the ravine. We have to this be like the closest teleport point. Might as well use it. We've reached our destination. Let's run. Because I doubt they upped the monsters' it's quite hot levels here. any. The climate feels different from men and see us. I remember that thing. It's like one of the first one we fought. Does that mean eyes were burning holes in us? Hmm. Silly ass law. Antidote rocks. Those were kind of higher level. Are you higher level now? Nope, you're still at level nine. Ow! Rest in pepperonis, my guy. <laughs> Barely a blip on our radar. Okay, so it wasn't where I thought it was going to be. Hydrate. Uh-oh. Lost your check. Uh-oh. Crutchies. Extra uh-oh. And a health Danny. Should have seen it coming from the Sandy. Alright. Sad up. Feels odd here. Stretchies. Be on your guard. Oh, uh, yeah. Stretchies feel good. Let's pause for a minute. I'm going to hydrate too. It's uni of habit and health. Yeah, a health foe. Aw, thank you for the head pads, Crystal. I do think I'm going to take a small break to use the restroom. I'll be right back. Make sure everyone gets up and takes care of themselves. I shall be back in a minute or two. I'm going to wait for the head pass to go away. Yeah, there we go. Be right back, everybody.
All right, I have returned. I hope you all took care of yourselves while I was gone. Let's go explore this cave. This is like the first place we were in the game. So it's kind of interesting sending us all the way back so here. Back in the Zion mine tunnels. Who would have thought you'd be going through this place again? This is where you and I first fought together. And also the first time we touched, as I recall. Ew. Wait, really? Yes, really. Boy, remember when you touched your girl. I mean, what? Antidote rock. Also, where you got the sword at? Like, how are you forgetting all this shit, my guy? His memory is a bit funky, though. I guess we'll give him a slight break? S question mark? So this path is supposed to take us out to Bird Volcano? We're not gonna see any lava burst out in front of us or anything, are we? Don't get so paranoid you let a rock fall on your head, Law. <laughs> Rest in pepperoni, Law. Hey, a luck pebble. Nice. Oh, it's like those things, but with lava spheres. That's okay, I guess. Ugh, so hot. Well, yeah. We've reached the inner portion of Berg Volcano. We need to find that starship. And fast. Okay, let's see what we're looking at here. Okay, this one looks like a dead end, so let's go that way first. See what's down here. Okay, what level are you, thing? 38 still? Oh, that one's already dead. Okay. God. Put the whole team on something and it just melts. And here's the flame spheres we've been needing to create some of our weapons. Like Xion's better one. Oh shit. Okay. Use fire on the fire things. Good plan. I'm sure there's no problem with that, right, chat? We barely managed to turn that battle. You don't need to sound surprised. You've got pretty impressive aim. More faith in that of taking up the rifle yourself. This is more my style. Use more flame on the frame creatures. I wonder if we can make new weapons with this. Gothic dress. Okay, so that thing that she on better armor. Oh. Yeah. Give me more armor. Also, let's just spend some of that to recover, because holy crap. Alfin was nearly dead. As he likes to. Huh. Ah, there's no way of climbing that. 
though it seems, allow me to step in. Wait, you're not thinking of trying to vault over? Well, I hadn't even thought of that in any case. Stand back. Okay, so now we can use him to regrow vines as his map action. Seriously? Is That's cool. Problem solved, chat. I got it. Got what? I can chop up vegetable scraps and use them in the seasonings. <laughs> sure, I don't know, and that's what it was going to be about. Boom. Nice. You can make plants grow instantly. <laughs> what if we use this for fruits and vegetables? <laughs> I'd rather not be our party's fertilizer. Thank you very much. Out of my way! And again, your radiant. But it would be effective, Dolahim, and we would all eat better. Problem solved, chat. Together, that wasn't even a problem. Yeah, these things still being only 38 is not good for them now that we're like 42. Not one of them's 40. No roll. Oh. That is unexpected and annoying. Frozen hammered the shit out of that man. the one to block next time? Huh? Uh, nah, not really my thing. My face is starting to sting. And my throat feels super parched. Here, have some water. Just make sure you don't drink too much. Down we Thanks. go. You want some too, Shion? I won't forgive you! You're in a volcano. Who wouldn't want water? I'll stop your movement. And I'll stop your life. Okay, so straight is not the uh, way, so let's go see what items is down here for us. Money! We're finally down below like a hundred thousand. So we definitely need more money. Commander of Heaven, Phoenix Cyclops, 
Yeah, Phoenix Cyclone. Love that one. That firepower of yours is really something. I could say the same. We'll lose some orange gel, eh? Not really. Right now. Oh, we can go this way and break that rock. Oh. Maybe less break, more grow? Either way, we can now get up and down that way faster, which I like. Cool. Damn, we lost the blue bar right before this fight. I won't forgive you. Punch him. Yeah, I think that was actually Kisara. Oh, she had two different armors. We forgot to equip her with one. Let's make sure we didn't do that with anyone. Sorry. Well, she has got a pretty big armor boost then. Nyong. Auto save. Out of my way. Radiant here. 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 Of devastation. Wow, look what I just found. Funny. Okay, so back this way and down is a special thing. Go back this way and down. Come on, come on, come on. Barely made it. Look at that shit. Oh damn, we can construct with that this too. Bridge will hold itself together, right? 
Most definitely. Though I won't make any promises. We <laughs> got another upgrade already. Which one is it? Like she just got an armor upgrade too. Okay. Now let's see. This one will take us where we want to go, so we need to go down more. Do do do. Fight me. Fight me so I can take your ingredient. Pierce put him down. Wish they were all that easy. Yeah, I think we might be getting too strong. Isn't that good? Play nope. along, would you? He still he back to that again. Easy peasy. Dead creature squeezy. This one's all long. That's what they say, right? Got turned around a minute. Good, we're good. Seriously? Is this a joke? Can't get out of this. That line makes a whole lot less sense now that he feels pain again. Everybody okay? We're all right, Alfin. And send it pebble. Gold gel. That sounds cool. I think I already have some. I think it's max restore. Go that way and down. Yum. Crazy to see rocks melt before our eyes. Watch where you're going, everyone. If you fall, there will be nothing left of you. Exactly. So don't try anything funny. Especially you. Fall. No pushing anyone. Not even as a joke. I'm not a little kid. 
Rest in peace, Law. I didn't know you had that sort of trick up your sleeve, Doheny. I would have figured rocks and plants would be too different. Ew. Absolute armor, chat. I'm sure it is absolute somehow. Don't worry about it. For you to handle both. Not necessarily. Oh, so there's a shortcut, so I don't have to go the other way. But I don't want to fight the things. Fight me, creatures. Let's dispose of the trash. Where are you going? Here you go. That freaking does it. They got me quick. Ready and here! Ready and here! Armor won't sink! Ready and here! Ready and here! I'll smash you! I'm trying to get it! Go for it! Prepare to crumble! Think we overdid it? Not by a long shot! In a bind? Will they help? Here, let me help! A little heal! Okay, I figured out how to get more grenades. You would think after 40 hours of the game, I'd know. But, you know? Sometimes that's just not how things work. <laughs> I just stood there for the end. I was like, they're, they're juggling the crap out of that. Get him, Dolene. Fucker is trying to crush me. Oh, damn. Y'all did get crushed real hard right there. The nice thing about the healing circle is it at least does everybody who stands in it, like equally. So it has that potential of being pretty useful or giving a lot of healing. Hey, I'm pretty lucky. But NPCs are not always the best about being like, oh, there's a thing I should stand in to get myself health. No. No, F that man. Tell you what. Okay, we made it through that part of the cave. Put up a nice little save. Yeah, these guys aren't super high level, so we're leveling pretty slowly currently. Okay. This is probably the big Sugal fight. Boss fight time, chat. Boss fight time. I want to fight the boss. Let me fight the boss. F that man, I tell you what. Yeah. Tell you what. Boom. That's more than a Zoogle. Wow. 
Go Jiwa! Probably that monster Nath warned us about, if I had to guess. Do you think this might have been where one of those lights that shot out of the wedge landed? But why this location? If the purpose of the wedge is to harvest Dana's astral energy. We can figure that out later. If that thing gets into town, it's going to cause chaos. We need to take it down and move on. Let's go! Hi, friend. This you free? Tough, but we have no choice. Let me know if you need healing. Here it comes. Focus. On your toes, everyone. Okay. Currently can't even attack it. Suddenly turning tail doesn't seem so ridiculous. Why? Are you scared? Me? <laughs> Are you? Do you even have to ask? Of course I'm scared. Focus up before we become that thing's lunch. It's summoning Zoogles? Take care of them while keeping an eye on it. Radiant Pierce! Huh. You picked the wrong fight. Oh, I Go and oh, oh, I can carve through oh, it. Okay. Radiant Pierce! I'm out of ammo. I never fit. Radiant Pierce! Oh, Thanks, Kisara. I'm on. Here I go. Radiant Pierce. 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 I don't know why you're on the beach, but I'll take it. Hammer is getting real fucking finicky here. Land. I'll heal you all. Here come more. We'll just have to keep fighting. The end I have no too. Too. We'll soon see about that. Ready. Jackal. Rising Falcon. Radiant Pierce. Radiant Pierce. Ready to play. Lost. Get toasty. Burn strike. Right. Next one. Look sharp. Already on it. Coming through. I can't hear shit. Scarlet Inferno. What do you do to your hearing? Why you do here? Will this help? No. 
course, I got knocked out there. Love it. Run, everyone! Don't get hit by that. Alright, fight me, giant monster. The literal fuck. medicine works as promised. Everyone all right? We won't surrender. We won't retreat. Not yet. Whatever you do, just please stay safe. That is the spot. Piss off! How are we supposed to take on something so big? I'll handle it. Just watch and learn. That's enough! <coughs> Get him, boy. Okay. All that and then one hit does KO the man. Everyone okay? Yeah, I think so. That thing scared the pants off me. It felt like it had a different aura than other Zoogles, didn't it? Yeah. It wasn't like the one that Almadria sicked on us either. Its elemental astral energy variants was out of this world. Ah. It was like fighting a lord. I guess it's safe to assume that if it came out of the wedge, it must have played some part in helping harvest astral energy. But what? Perhaps a living spirit vessel? It's plausible, given the location. Or it may be part of a new force dispatched to regain control of Dana. If we assume that mm. monster was one of the four beams of light, we must have prevented something from taking place here. I'd like to think so, knowing how much grief it gave us. But at least with that out of the way, we can keep moving forward now. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go, chat. Alphant Unrelenting Blaze. Max AG by one. Nice. Faster AG recovery. I'll take it. More damage. Okay, this sounds fun. Give me. Star only has one realistic thing to work on. up giggity and he can sit on his for a minute he the key to a certain door in clag is simply the holding makes me wonder what lies in the threshold I need to be stronger I think I know where that door is at Teddy welcome Teddy thank you for the hydrate Ah, tasty water. I'm posture and stretchy and more. Being hit with all the things. All right. Thank you for the head pats. Feels good to stretch. Takes a little, yeah. 
And another sippy. And we're good. Thank you, Teddy. How you doing today, Teddy? You having a good day? Having a good day? Hey, is that it over there? I'd say that's a spaceship. <sighs> hey, buddy. If you're having trouble getting back to town, I can lend you a hand. Okay, so he got max weapies. Get her a better weapon. Oh, it's a gimmick weapon. <laughs> That's funny. Get her a better weapon. Get him a better weapon. Okay. We are now good to go. That's what happens when you go say weapon, but you chant, you know, put it down. Have you guys checked your equipment lately? Okay, let's save because I don't know what's going to happen here. Definitely a spaceship. Alvin? Did you remember something? No, but... I have seen this starship before. Starship. This is it. This is the ship I traveled in when I escaped from Lenigus. Ah, uh, thank you for the head pass, Sheila. Power works. Three centuries later, and it's no worse for wear. I'll take a look at the internals. Damn! I'm amazed it still works at all after all this time. And no one else wanted to go aboard? It's the present. Ask me some present chat. I really am from a different time and place. Yeah, but you've got us now, Alfin. Yeah. Not only for that, now. but you've helped out so many people too. Law's right. Rinwell too. You're one of us now. No more carrying the weight of history on your shoulders. You're a part of this world. Right. Thanks, you guys. There's a campfire over there. How's it look? It should fly. All internal systems seem to be operating. However, considering how long it's remained inactive, I suspect it will take some time before it's ready for takeoff. How much time are we talking here? Starship mechanics are not what I'd call my forte, so I'd rather not hazard a guess. So we've just got to sit around here and wait? I'm terrible at waiting. That's because <laughs> you're a child. Oh, but... How about we use this time to prepare and gather supplies for the trip? Good idea. Who knows when we'll be back from Lenigus once we leave. We should prepare ourselves for every possible scenario before we go. Let's try not to stay away too long. Sounds okay, right, chat? I'd hate for anything to happen to the place while we're gone. Either we race ahead, or we take due precaution to ensure we have no regrets. I shall leave it up to you as to how we proceed, Alfin. Works for me. Oh, uh, she don't fell asleep. What's up here? Wait until ship is ready to take off. Can't get on. Oop. Funny, isn't it? What is? All this. When we first started this thing, 
Did you ever imagine we'd be going to Lenegas? After all, this is the sort of thing I was rebelling against when I ran away from home, right? I'm sure Zephyr would be proud if he knew what his son was doing right now. And a little shocked, too. We're defying the order of things that have persisted for 300 years. <laughs> Deep down, I knew our journey would lead to confronting Lenegas. Wait, Lenegas. Yeah, you may be, but you're a Renan. The rest of us can barely even picture what it means to leave Dana. No offense to Xion and Dohalim, but it's worth remembering we're heading into enemy territory. No offense taken, and this is no picnic for me either. Remember, our aim is to ensure that both Lenegas and the Renan homeworld leave Dana alone for good. I don't think we'll be able to avoid a fight. Is there no way we can talk them into leaving us alone? The people of Lenigus? Sure. I mean, we found a way to make it work with Xion and Dohalim, right? Hmm. And it's not just us. If places like Menencia can do it, then why can't because we... Because there are still many of my kind who believe it was right and natural that Rena reigns over Dana. There are those on Lenigus who have never stepped foot on Dana. I doubt whether they'd even listen to Danans. Look, none of us want to fight. But these are the same people who fired that wedge down on Dana. What happens next is on them. Right. We're not going to sit back and wait for them to oppress us again. Right. Don't forget, there's also a good chance the Red Woman is somewhere on Lenigus. And wherever she is, we should find the Renasalma, too. Yeah, Renasalma. That's right. If we can take it back, then Xion can finally get rid of her thorns. <sighs> eh, she doesn't believe that. Xion? You gonna tell us what's up, Xion? Huh? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Everyone's asleep around the fire. Where? Shion? Does Shion never sleep? Where did Shion go, chat? Where'd Shion go? How could she just go off oh, on her there own? There she is. I mean, it's not like she went far, my guy. Shion. Shion! It's your thorns? But why? You okay? That was interesting. Just now, it looked like you used your maiden powers to suppress your thorns. You can really do that? <laughs> uh oh. Stay out of my way. Xion. Bad Xion. No cookie. Wait a second. Are you planning to go alone? Shut up! Why would you do this? I told you to shut up! I won't let you. We're gonna fight? I mean it. I refuse to let you. I won't tell you again. Move or I'll shoot. If that's the case... Go ahead and shoot me! Uh oh. Well, that woke everyone else up.
Do you remember back when I was stabbed? By Volron? Yeah. I thought for sure that he had killed you back there. That wasn't the first time. Huh? The first time was when I was only a child. After that, no matter how often, I just couldn't die. Oh. Couldn't die? So you're immortal? How's that even... <clears throat> believe you, Xion. Tell me how... How is something like that possible? My thorns. They're me, but at the same time, not. They're part of me. I have no idea why. But my thorns will never let me die. At least not before I'm meant to. You can't die before your death? When my thorns free themselves, hmm. it will be my death. <laughs> I've seen yeah, I thought it might be something like that. A darkness that swallows up everything until nothing remains. It's a vision of oblivion I can't escape. I want to believe it's all just a bad dream. But no matter what I tell myself, I, I know it's not. Yeah, but you... Wait, the whole reason you... You needed the Renesalma was to get rid of your thorns, right? Hmm. If I burn away what's inside, then what will happen to the rest of me? <laughs> right. Either way you look at it, I'm going to die. But if I am going to die, I figure I can at least take my thorns out with me. That's what I've been after this whole time. That's why you turned your back on your fellow Renants and chose to fight with us, isn't it? And while we've all been fighting to keep on living, you have been with us fighting desperately to die. A little sad. That was the plan. But then I met all of you, and I... Before I knew it, I didn't want to die anymore. Shia, don't lose hope yet. We'll find a way to save you. There's still time to... It's pointless. Why? Because the darkness won't just consume me. The truth is, it will consume all of existence as well. That seems like a big problem. Suspicion at first, but ever since the Red Woman triggered my maiden powers, I've been more certain than ever before. Well, what the hell is it? It was then that I finally came to realize. My powers were holding my thorns in check the entire time. But they don't anymore. Not since Lenigus. When the wedge fell. Hmm. Every day, I feel the thorns' power growing stronger inside of me. Pretty soon, I won't be able to hold them back anymore. And when that happens... They will consume all existence. And that's why you wanted to leave by yourself. You planned to find the Renis Alma on your own and sacrifice yourself to stop the thorns. But that's too much. It's way too much. When this all began, I didn't care what happened to me or anyone else. And what happened to the Renans or the Danans didn't matter to me at all. I know I have to die. But I don't want to. Not now that I have this. I wish we had never met. Then I wouldn't have to feel this way. See you. Help me. Uh. Only living for the sake of dying. 
is no better than being a slave. How can you endure this? Alvin. It's not fair. I don't care what anybody says. I won't let it happen. We can fight this. We'll fight until the end together. I know, right? Isn't that what you said to me before? There's a lot of the feels. Even if it should mean that it'll be the end of everything else, too? Sion, what do you want? It's your decision, ultimately. But if you decide not to fight fate, I will. Even if I have to do it alone. No, you won't be alone. I'll fight as well. Count me in as well. I want to be a force for good, not hate. And me too. I meant it with all of my heart when I told you before. Neither of you are alone in this at all. You guys. And I, for one, don't believe this venture is without hope. Huh? Shion is the descendant of a maiden from 300 years ago. Given the circumstances, it seems very likely that those events have some connection to her thorns. The true nature of which, I imagine we will discover as we make our way to Lenigus and uncover the truth of what's unfolding here. I take it you mean we might find a way to get rid of her thorns and she'll live? It's certainly possible. Though I suspect the nature of the Sovereign is connected somehow. So be it. I've already lost everything I had once. No matter what happens from now on, we're right here with you. All of us are. You are not alone. You guys, you're all so stubborn. Yeah, there's a lot of emotions here. Ooh. Thank you, everyone. For right now, in a little while longer, I just want to hold on to this dream. And most of all, more than anything else, I want to be with all of you. So let's go. Ah, John, why are you ruining the scene? Also, welcome in, Plasmos. Coming in just to slap a John Cena in the middle of the heartfelt scene. Looks like we're going to have a talk with everyone moment again. Wee! The end of the world. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Now we're saving the I world, chat. Shion is telling the truth. That was a lot of up and down emotion there. As a friend, yes. I want to believe her. Oh, man. Everything that's happened seems to point towards some sort of great danger that's lurking ahead of us. Still, it's hard to fathom something that could usher outright doom to the world. That those really are the stakes we face. No, I understand. Even Shion doesn't seem to know exactly what will happen to bring it all about. We have so many pieces of the puzzle in our hands. So many clues. Yet the complete picture eludes us. So where do her thorns fit in, then? Well, I imagine they must sit at the very center of it all. You remember the voice we all heard while we were inside the wedge, don't you? Yeah, I remember. It was the will of Dana's astral energy come to life. Or well, that's what we all thought. Oh, it seemed right. like. And from that, we're able to hypothesize how vast concentrations of astral energy can become sentient. Let's return to when we found Shion in Pelegion. 
when her thorns went wild, they contained far more astral energy than any mere Renin would normally have inside them. So you think those thorns might be alive too? That their will is what keeps her from dying? But why would they want to destroy the entire world? As for that, I really cannot say for certain. Its goals still remain a mystery. It may be a mere fluke that her maiden powers have been able to contain it thus far. You know, I've noticed since we've met that you like figuring out riddles. I mean, riddles are fun. Me? When one realizes that the world they once thought to be true is but a mere facade, they can't help but seek the truth. Especially when that deception has led to others getting hurt. Dohalim? I imagine the remaining pieces of the puzzle that we seek rest somewhere within Lenigus. As for what the final picture will look like, who can say? I think it's best we not dwell on it too much for the time being. Right. Right. I wonder what awaits us on the other side once all these pieces have been assembled. What you got, Kisara? How are you holding up? Who, me? Yes, you. You took a hit from those thorns again, didn't you? Oh, that? That was nothing. Compared to what Xion's going through, you mean? Still, even if you yourself might be willing to endure that kind of pain, that doesn't mean Xion wants to have to see you get hurt by her thorns, you know? <sighs> yeah, I know. I'll be careful. Xion doesn't know how lucky she is to have you around, you know? Dashing in to save her at the last minute. Yeah, yeah, very funny. I'm being serious. You went up and held her close like you still had that mask on, and you didn't even bat an eye. She really needed that. That's what I mean when I said you saved her. Yeah. Just like you did with the rest of us. I just want for Xion what we all have. The ability to touch someone without the fear of killing them. Those thorns have robbed her of the kind of everyday things we all take for granted. And it's not right. You can say that again. It may be normal for us, but that doesn't make it any less special or important for her. I hope she gets what she wants. I have my own dreams. But a world without her... Where she dies so we can all survive, isn't a world I want to live in. Agreed. It's like more and more keeps getting taken from her, and I'm done with it. Done with it, chat. Done with this shit. Hey, Rinwell. How's the waterfall? Can't sleep? After everything we just heard? How could I? Fair enough. Xion's had to deal with so much on her own. Even when we were all laughing and celebrating, she just kept quiet and didn't say anything. I thought she was keeping her distance because of her thorns. That it was because she didn't want to hurt anybody by getting too close. I just figured that that was the type of person she was, you know? But it turned out to be none of that. All this time, she felt like she had to die and sacrifice herself for the greater good. But even then, she didn't think she could say anything to us about it. I know. She was so alone this entire time. How could I call her a friend and yet be so completely blind to everything she was going through? I'm sure it made her happy, knowing you were there for her. You really think so? Yeah, yeah. I do. If she didn't think of us as friends, I don't think she could have ever opened up to us like that. You were a good friend to her before, and you'll be an even better one now. Yeah, I really hope so. I want to be the best I can for her. When you think about it, we were all alone in our own way. But over time, we've all found ways to let each other into our lives. I hope Xion's able to do that one day, too. No, That'd be good. I mean, I hope she's able to do that more. Lots and lots more. I think it'd be really nice if we could all just be there to support each other when it really counts. And forget about our grudges and pain. Rinwell. Go, Rinwell, go. Alright, what do you got for us, Law? Looks like Xion's not part of the conversation circle. 
Did you know? You mean about Shia? <clears throat> yeah, I didn't have the slightest idea. I mean, every once in a while I thought something seemed a little off, but I never could have imagined. It's like a completely different world was spinning around me and I couldn't even see it. You and me both. I mean, I knew something was bothering her, but I could never quite figure out what it was. You? But you're the one always looking out for her, aren't you? That's what I thought. Hmm. But in reality, I didn't understand it all. What I thought was helping and being there for her was actually just driving her into a corner. At least you figured it out in time, though, right? I don't think we're out of the woods yet. But yeah, you're right. We brought her back from the edge, and we're going to stop those thorns from taking her. Yeah. No matter what. Yeah, fuck those yeah, thorns up. With all of us together, Ooh. there's nothing we can't handle. She on the world. We can save everyone. And I mean it when I say we, Alfin. I know. No lone wolfing it. Hey, you're the expert on what my dad would say. Do you think he'd pat me on the back or tell me off? Zephyr, I don't think that he'd have that much to say, to be honest. You're your own man now, Law. And you've already made up your own mind about what you want. I guess he couldn't say anything even if he wanted to. Law. Sorry. I guess those of us amongst the living have enough problems to deal hmm. with, don't we? We'll need all our strength to save Shion. I'll probably end up worrying again at some point. But I guess I'll think it over more then. That okay? Yeah, I think it is. How you doing, Plasmos? We have a lot of uh, heavy story moment going on currently. Hey, Shion. Hey, you doing all right? <laughs> I seem to cause nothing but worry. As much as I try to look like I have things under control, everyone still worries about me. Oh, nice. Here for Chaos Gate. You're not the only one. Hey, do you remember the first time you said I was your friend? <sighs> no. When was that? Sorry, I can't remember. That's okay. It came so naturally to you, I'm not surprised you forgot. I was different back then. The Danans were not even people to me, and I knew I would always be alone. But in that room with Deadheim, when you called me your friend, it just shattered the wall that I'd built up around me. Because until that moment, I'd only seen you as a means to an end. I thought of you as a way to use the Blazing Sword, and to obtain the Renis Alma. <laughs> but after that day, one time became two, and before I knew it, you'd made a habit of calling me and Dohalim your friends. Yeah. It didn't matter that we were Renans. You cared about us as you would any other people. Then, everyone else started to call me their friend too, to think of me as their friend. Before then, I never even dreamed I could have that. I didn't want to die and lose you all. But I also didn't want to live if it meant you would all die in my place. Shion. But then I realized... I'd only really been thinking of myself that entire time. After saying how I felt, and hearing what you all had to say, I finally understood that. <sighs> Don't worry, it's okay. I'm not planning on dying anymore. I've met too many people along the way who I truly care about to give in now. Good. So I'll fight. For Dana and for myself. I'll fight against my fate to preserve our future. And I'll win, come hell or high water. I don't know how we're going to do it, but I won't let the world end because of me. 
It's going to be a long, hard road ahead, Shion. Our fight won't be over until everyone, both Danans and Renans, can finally live in peace. Yeah. Let's do this. But I swear I'll be there with you until the very end. Thank you. Remember what we learned back in Calaglia? There's no wall so high that we can't break it down. Yeah, I think you may be right about that. Yeah, everyone's back Everyone in the party. Well rested. Then let's go. We depart for Lenigus. Okay, let's save the game real quick. So we can teleport there. And take a quick trip here and see if we can finish that book quest real quick. Sadly, I don't think we're beating, even with a couple levels, I don't think we're going to get through the other things. I imagine they're kind of like more post-game content. Don't be shy about... Okay. We didn't find any new ones. Okay. That's fine. And we can't go fight that one creature. Okay, then. Because, yeah. It's still 54. We're... Finally... The the gap's just too if much. only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Alright. To space! We go to space, chat. Well, it's the moment of truth. This lady better hold together once we're up in the air. La, don't say that! You're going to jinx us! <laughs> Speaking of which, Alfin... This bucket of bolts got a name? A name? Hmm. You know, I'm not sure she ever had one. I never really thought about it. Well, after all the trouble we went through to find her, we should give her one, right? I was thinking something like... Thaw Knights. Huh? Yeah. It means owl in the ancient tongue. Literally, the one drawn to the skies. Sure. I like it. Sounds perfect for our little escapade. Not sure I'm completely convinced, but well, it's as good a name as any. From now on, she'll be known as the Fall Knights. Okay, people. We have two goals. First, we need to get to Lenigus and make the Renans finally leave Dana alone. And then, we need to figure out the truth behind Shion's thorns and find a way to save her. Sound good? Yeah. All right. And let's go. To space. The final frontier. Wait. That's a different show.
feel like we lost a lot of the uh, junk on the outside real fast. You know, I can still hardly believe it. Believe what? I mean, just look at it. The whole of existence crammed inside a tiny frame. Now that you mention it, I guess you're right. It does look more like a painting than a living, breathing world. From up here, all the struggles we've been through feel so insignificant. Nothing like realizing how small you are to put everything into perspective. Kind of makes the differences between the Renans and the Danans feel pretty small too, huh? Yeah. How much longer until we reach Lenigus? Space. There are better ways to use your time than napping. We should take a moment to familiarize ourselves with the facilities on board before arrival. Good idea. The Starship may end up serving as our base of operations once we're down there. Think you'll be all right with the controls? You mean the ones set to automatic pilot? I dare say I'll manage. I'm basically just here to supervise. In that case, she's all yours. <laughs> we don't really have a part. We don't really have a pilot. A Everything bit scary. okay, Shion? You seem a little different. Different? Like in a bad way? Different? No, not at all. You seem more driven lately. Like you found a zest for life. It suits you. Yeah, I guess we'll talk to Dolahim and Shion since they're right here. Hmm. Is something wrong? No, a lot of dialogue here. I was merely thinking how it had been seven years. That's all. You mean since you became a lord and left Lenigus? I guess even someone like you can get homesick, huh? I am as prone to sentimentality as any other. Tell me, though. You too have a history with Lenigus. A traumatic one, no less. This trip will probably mean facing up to some difficult emotions. Doesn't that frighten you? Difficult well, emotions for everybody. It is a place where I took the lives of countless people. I'd be lying if I said I hadn't thought about it. But I can't keep running forever. The past is what it is. There's no changing that. But the future's what we make it. I see. Dohalim? Forgive me. I was wrong to pry. We have more pressing matters to address. Come back and speak to me when you finish looking around the ship. Yeah. Now I'll speak to Xion. We'll be going to Lenigus soon. This must feel like a homecoming of sorts to you, huh? What was life on Lenigus like back then? You know, before you came to Dana. Let's just say I don't have many happy memories. I've had thorns my whole life. For as long as I can remember. They called it treatment. But in truth, they were just using me as a guinea pig for their research. You mean, they experimented on you? That's yeah, right. sounds about right. All I was to them was a riddle to solve. They poked and prodded me, trying to figure out what triggered my thorns or changed the form they took. Day in and day out, every single day, one test after another. I'm still surprised they didn't try to dissect me. The look they gave me whenever one of them touched my skin. How could I forget it? Reeling from the pain, like I was a monster or something. Some existence, huh? A blight on any I touched. Helplessly complicit in their pain. I thought things couldn't get any worse. But then they did. I started to have nightmares. Visions of the coming apocalypse. <sighs> Is it any wonder I lacked a cheery disposition? Unable to so much as touch another soul. Loneliness was my best friend. Sure, I survived, but with the knowledge that one day I'd be swallowed up by oblivion. That's when it hit me. If I was going to die, then it should mean something. If I have to sacrifice myself to save the world, so be it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you relive that. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm in a much better place now. You say it's your destiny to die so that others can live. But why not the other way around? Why shouldn't we be the ones dying to save you? Uh, that seems are a little... Are you crazy? Why would you sacrifice your life for... That's exactly my point. Why should you have to give up your life just because you drew the short straw in the destiny stakes? How is that even right? It's that logic that's used to justify slavery. 
as if some of us were just meant to be sacrificed. This struggle was never about saving only ourselves. But that doesn't mean we have to give up our own lives to save everyone else's either. If we're doing this to protect people, if we're doing this to save the world from destruction, then that has to include saving each other as well. A world free of sacrifice. That's what you've been fighting for all along, isn't it? Not just me. We're in this together, remember? This fight is yours too, Xion. Yeah, if Xion. We're going to win. Everyone has to win. There can be no room for losers in this fight. Now I see it. The true nature of our struggle. A victory without losers. But that means that a Danon victory over Rena can't be the end. Do you think we can pull it off? Sounds pretty hard. You bet we can pull it off. We have to. It's the only hope we have of things ever changing. Yeah, you're right. No one's ever changed the future without aiming for the stars. We can do this together. Together! Stairs up. What are you two up to? Yeah, flirting? You gonna hook up before we get there? I mean, hold on. Hey, Alvin, listen to this. So, Law and I were just talking, and. Hey, shut up! What's got Law all flustered? Only that he's afraid of flying, the big baby. <laughs> After all that fuss he made about naming the ship, too. Hey, I never said I was scared. I just think it's, you know, a little unsettling how we're going to be cruising through space in a glorified tin can. That's all. It's a starship, dummy. That's what it's supposed to do. I don't think there's anything strange about it. Well, maybe you're the one with the problem then. Guys, guys. I'm no expert, but I think we can trust Ren and technology. It got me to Dana in one piece, remember? Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. Mostly. If you think so, Alpin, it must be okay. Don't you agree, Law? Hard to argue with that, seeing how you hitched a ride in one of these things before, Alpin. It's just wrong, okay? <laughs> that was cute. I'm kind of glad it was shorter with all the dialogue we've been having recently. Alright, send me into space. Let's go. Divide it up like that. Why is it? Oh, here we go. Okay. okay. Interesting. Now these must be the cryopods. They're all empty. I kind of expected someone to be in one of them, honestly. You okay? Feeling airsick? Actually, now that you mention it, not at all. These starships are a remarkably smooth ride, all things considered. Nothing like being at sea, thank goodness. Glad to hear it. That device there caught your eye, huh? I was just wondering what it is. It looks big enough to fit a person inside of it. It's a healing pot. It fixes injuries and illnesses. Oh, you don't say. That should definitely come in handy if any of us get injured while we're down there. <sighs> yeah. Alfin? Was it something I said? No, I... Uh, I was just thinking back to when I escaped Lenigus, that's all. What with the ceremony and losing control, I was a total mess. Nayori laid me inside here. So, you're saying you got in this thing straight after escaping? But that mean... You were inside for 300 years? Yes. Yep. It sounds crazy, I know. But... Don't even ask me why I stayed asleep all that time. That's definitely quite some lion, all right. But still, whether you meant to or not, I sure am glad that it's this century that you finally woke up in. What do you mean? Yeah. With the amount of fighting we've done, we would have never made it this far without you. And not only that, but... Alfin, can you recall back to what it is that I said to you? Back when we left Menencia, about the dream of coexistence and needing to learn what it entailed? Of course. That's why you came with us, right? To learn what you couldn't at home. Even in that time, 
I was well aware that what I was living was a lie. Hmm. But at the same time, I also felt really compelled to fulfill my brother's wishes. I'll always remember him fondly. But the coexistence we're fighting for isn't for him. It's for people now, and those still to come. The world's bigger than just men and Sia. My dream is for all Danans, wherever they might be, to be free. If I've learned anything on this journey, it's that. And the one who brought me along was you, Alfin. I'll forever be grateful to you. Well, we're not out of this forest just yet. You should probably save your thanks. At least, until we've dealt with the Red Woman. I know. But whatever we find when we get down there, I'm through looking the other way. Kisara. Yeah. Probably getting a little ahead of myself. No huh? longer looking the other way. Let's take Only things forward. one step at a time. Alright. Back to the front. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Is everyone about ready? We'll soon be making preparations to land. Before we do that, just what exactly should we expect when we get down there? Kisara has a point. Now that I think of it, I don't know the first thing about Lanigus. I'd like to hear more too. It's been centuries since I was last there, and they didn't exactly give me the grand tour. Oh, <laughs> Very well. First and foremost, Lanigus is was the base of operations in charge of the crown contest on Dana. Of course, it also happens to be a city in its own right, complete with its own independent society. Its social structure is based on a strict hierarchy. Put simply, the strength of an individual's astral arts carries great weight. Enough to determine someone's social rank, you mean? But astral arts are innate, right? So people's positions are fixed at birth. They can be honed with the right training, and there are admittedly other factors at play. But yes, that's basically the gist. Basic as gist, a result, born or not. Family lines that churn out lords and their contenders wield disproportionate influence, and those lineages are treated as nobility. Those capable of only weak astral arts are effectively an underclass, denied the right to descend to Dana even if they wanted to. Still. Even the lowest rung on the Renan ladder is considered superior to being a Danon. Keep that in mind down there. Thanks for the warning. As a lord, Doholim must have been pretty high up in the pecking order, right? What about you, Xion? Come on, you've seen her skill with astral arts. You really need to ask? <laughs> Fair point. On arts alone, you're right. I'd have been sitting pretty. But you're forgetting my thorns. They weren't exactly an invitation to high society. Yeah, a bit of a problem. Uh, sorry. No, it's fine. It's refreshing to be around someone who says what they're thinking. Life's less complicated that way. Jeez, give backhanded compliments much? <laughs> Wait a second. Are you? He is! Law's blushing! Uh oh. I am not! <laughs> Of course, separating people into castes based on something arbitrary like arts is discrimination at its worst. As if such simplistic criteria could ever be a measure of someone's worth. So this red woman, are we expecting to find her on Lenegas? I would wager so. Lenegas is too deeply involved in all this to discard the possibility. Yeah. Chances are she's also connected to the Renis Alma being stolen from us in Pelegion. If the Renis Alma is being used to exploit Dana, we need to take it back at all costs. Gotta the take Red it back, Chad. Got a lot to answer for. Just as well, I've got a ton of questions. Uh oh. Console. You're Relax not a character. Alert. The descent could be a little bumpy, so brace yourselves. Great. If there are clues about your thorns out there, Shion, we'll find them. Alright, we're coming in. Place looking pretty disjointed currently.
There's no one here. I wasn't expecting a welcome mat, but still. Lenigus's infrastructure is largely automated. Besides, people won't be expecting incoming traffic while the crown contest is still underway. Ooh, that's a fancy looking ship. Do you think anyone realizes that we're here? We may not uh, have received a so. royal welcome, but I doubt our entrance went unnoticed. Don't let your guard down. I really hope we don't have to fight anybody while we're here. So now what? We've come all this way on a hunch that this red woman is here, right? And if we're lucky, the Ren is Alma too. Any idea where we should start looking? Hmm. There is an area of the city that is accessible only to the Sovereigns, known as the Forbidden Zone. That seems as good a place as any for us to start. Makes sense. Forbidden? What are they hiding? I don't know. Hence my desire to find out. Fortunately, we just so happen to have a sovereign in our midst. That's true. In any case, changing the shape of a huge structure such as Lenigus would have required an immense source of power. Then you think that source might have been the Renis Alma? Precisely. Alfin said that he remembered the Renis Alma being used in the spirit channeling ceremony three centuries ago. Whatever the ceremony's purpose, if preparations are underway for it to be held once more, then the Renis Alma might be in the same place as last time, possibly together with the Red Woman. Hiding something of that worth in the residential quarters would only court trouble. In which case... It stands to reason we should be looking somewhere normally out of bounds. Is that it? Makes sense. Go. Indeed. Go, go, go. Attack, attack, attack. But it's been over 300 years since I was made a sovereign. You can't seriously think I'll be able to waltz right into the place after all this time. Depends what the security protocols there's are. There's only one way to find out. If there's even a chance you can get us in, I say we give it a shot. You're the maiden. You should be allowed she in there too. Right. Who knows? We might even find a clue to her thorns while we're at it. All right. It's not like we're swimming in leads, so let's try to track down the Forbidden Zone. Beyond okay. that wall lies a city full of Renans. The capital city where Shion and Dohalim used to live, no less. Take off. Who knows what we'll find on the other side. Or conversation. Thinking about what could be lurking out here is giving me the heebie-jeebies. Oh, yeah. For such a loud mouth, you sure can be a worry word at times. Oh, I'm sorry. How stupid of me for wanting us to stay safe. Would you two How children you? stop squabbling? Or do you want everyone to know we're here? Yes. <clears throat> Fight them all. A whole station at once. So how many Renans actually live in this place? I couldn't tell you exactly. Though not as many as you might expect. Machines and Zoogles take care of most of the city's basic functions. There's Zoogles out here too, huh? Sounds like we can't afford to let our guard down after all. Alright, away! At least, you know, being a little more tired today, this game doing an ass load of talking saving me from... Happy to do that myself. <laughs> oh, this place is looking real fucked up. I'm guessing the uh, shape changes was not entirely told to everybody. What in the world? This being Renan territory, I was prepared for a lot of things to look different. But this? This is a bit more than I anticipated. 
The very foundations of the city have shifted. What could have caused this? When Lenigus changed shape, it must have had an effect on the interior, too. Yep. Maybe when they sent the wedge down to Dana? But they wouldn't move around the places where people live. These are their homes, right? I would think the citizens themselves didn't have much say in the matter. Either way, locating the Forbidden Zone just became that much trickier. Yeah, it could be in a different place me? now. Is that you? Uh oh. Avakir, I'm glad to see you're well. So it is you! But why are you here? Shouldn't you be down on Dana participating in the crown contest? And these people! So you haven't heard what happened on Dana then? Heard what? Someone you know? An old friend. Hey, Dohalim, don't tell me you've started keeping company with. They're with me. More importantly, what's happened here? Uh, yeah. Shut I'm your mouth, bro. Sure. The city's foundations began to shift without warning, and now everything looks like this. We're all waiting for the Sovereign to tell us what's happening, but so far... Avakir, listen to me. We're looking for the Forbidden Zone. Do you have any idea where we might find it? The Forbidden Zone? What business could you possibly have there? Trust me. The less you know, the better. <sighs> You're just the same as ever. <laughs> Same as I wish I could help, but what with the changed topography, I can barely locate my own home. Let alone the Forbidden Zone. Very well. It looks like we'll have to find the way there ourselves. Have you seen Faria yet? No. I see. Well, nothing much has changed with her. If anything, she's probably even more... Uh-oh. I can well imagine. Why did you come back? You know it can only result in pain for you both. I've no doubt of that. You really are the same as ever. Fine, I understand. Just don't say I didn't warn you. And take care of yourself. Okay, Doe? Doe? That's a cool nickname. <laughs> so who's Faria? Yeah. La. <sighs> if what Avakir said is true, it would seem the people of Lenigus are being kept in the dark about what's happening down on Dana. They seem to be just as clueless about what's going on up here in their own world. Despite the fact that it's actually here that the Wedge originally came from. We need more information. Let's talk to the citizens, see what we can find out. While we're at it, we can ask them about the Red Woman, too. And don't forget about finding the way to the Forbidden Zone, either. Seems we got a lot to do all of a sudden. Shion. We can't have a bunch of Danans poking their noses around. Good idea. I think that's for the best. I shall assist. You sure? Being a lord on Lenigus has its advantages. Right, then we'll leave it to you two. Good plan. The Danans among us should probably keep our heads down. What if people freak out? I shall explain it away by saying I'm leading you. What are we, dogs? Close enough. What could be so important? It's worth destroying people's livelihoods and homes in the process. It's just... unbelievable. Uprooting an entire city as if it were mere building blocks. Someone's got an awful lot of questions to answer. From how it looks, they must be siphoning off astral energy from Dana and then sending it to Rena. But why do all this? Mm. What for? Surely they can't be using all that energy for the crown contest. Whatever their purpose, disrupting their siphoning process alone won't be sufficient. Not while we still don't know what their end game is. He's right. We need to stop this from happening ever again. This Forbidden Zone might be where we find some answers, right? So what are we waiting for? Let's get moving! You heard him. We don't have time to stop and chat. Let's move. Afterthought. More talking. So, Let's go. I've been wondering. Do you think when Lenigus was built, it was even made with people living here in mind? What do you mean? Well, none of this happened by coincidence, right? 
They must have designed it to transform like this. But then, if they knew people were going to live here, you'd think they would have taken that into consideration to avoid all this chaos. Ordinarily, yes. You'd think so. Trust me, as far as we were concerned, Lenigus was our home, nothing more. No one knew about all this. It makes you wonder whether the city was just built on as an afterthought. But if so, to what exactly? Sorry. Yeah. That probably sounded weird, huh? Some weird stuff going on here. <laughs> Not at all. Sometimes it takes an outsider's eye to help you notice what you've been missing all along. This place is a mystery, that's for sure. Something tells me we'll find answers where we're going, though. Yeah, you're right, Xion. I'm sure we will. Okay. The next done for? The residential district's falling apart. There's like a map action there. Something down this way. Things all top story. Got people getting injured. What's up, old man? What do you got for us? Oh dear me! What an unspeakable mess this has all become. Just look at the state of our city. Even the Zugals have stopped heeding our commands. Uh oh. Whatever did we do to deserve this? You really have no clue what might have caused this. Would that I have. Alas, there was no warning, no prior decree. His Highness must have deemed it unnecessary for us to know. We have no choice but to grin and bear it. But do my eyes deceive me? Could I really be standing in the presence of his lordship, Dohalim of the House Ilkaris? I believe he was on Dana. Your eyes do not deceive you. It is I, one and the same. I have returned to fulfill a special duty, the details of which I cannot divulge. As your lordship wishes, first Lanagus mutates beyond recognition, now this unexpected visit, the Sovereign's plans are inscrutable indeed. I wonder who this Sovereign is. They haven't named the one that's the currently Ilkaris active. The Ilkaris House has produced a great many lords over the centuries. I shall be praying for your victory in what the latest the other crown ones, like, contest. Every ten years is not all honor. that crazy. Or seven? Seven or ten years? Like, they'd have to be holding me. Ooh, strawberry. Oh. Can anyone hear me? Please answer. What's going on? No! Like, There'd be a ton of lords hanging out if that was the case, which kind of makes me think that they were kind of farming them. If we're being honest about it, they're probably farming them for like power sources or something. Oh my years, I've never seen such potent healing arts. Thank you so much. Ooh, we got a fancy parfait. Yum. Goddess of Kindness. AG up. Improved healing arts. Okay, we gotta save up for that. Reduce combat. Reduce art casting. We'll need that as well. We're gonna have... To... We had one more left here. <clears throat> but honestly, finishing this and getting the uh, 50 penetration is probably not as important as getting these two things. I wonder just how many people have been saved by Shion in some form. I'm impressed. There's rumors flying around about people being saved by a Renin vision of beauty. The vision mm -hmm. of beauty? That's a bit much. Alvin I don't had know. better stay on his toes. Yeah. Gonna be all sorts of gas coming for. Yeah, what do we need? Morning shell, you. Yeah. I'll top us off. And where do I come this into up. this? You know where you come into this. Stop being dense. Your Lordship. Oh, what a great honor it is to finally meet you. I descended to Dana during the last crown contest also. Alas, when the contender I was backing failed to clinch the title, I returned. I witnessed the deaths of so many slaves. Indeed. Sorry to interrupt, but we're looking for a woman dressed all in red. 
Have you seen anyone of that description? Hmm. All red, eh? No, I can't say I remember anyone like that. I imagine she'd stand out somewhat, too. Yeah. What about down on Dana during the crown contest? You didn't see anyone like that hanging around the Lord you were serving? What's with all these questions? I've never seen her, okay? Not recently or otherwise. Why do you want to find her anyway? Never mind. Forget I asked. Sorry to take up your time. Da, 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 da. Is everything okay? You look a little lost. Hmm? Oh, yes. I can't seem to find my way home, is all. I was just about to make my umpteenth attempt at a new route. I was hoping to head this way myself. The situation is a real pain, huh? I suppose the Sovereign knows best. I daren't stay here too long, though. A lower caste can only linger around these parts for so long before I outstay my welcome. I was hoping to avoid it, but maybe I'll have to go that way after all. You mean you know another way round? Lord Dohali Nilkaris! But how? Last I heard, you were in Dana competing in the crown contest. Yes, strange, isn't it? If you know another route, we'd be grateful if you could tell us. Yeah. But, but of course. Let us know. Forgive me. There's a wall that sprung up ahead of here, with what looks to be an entrance in it. I thought maybe it was a passageway between the different quarters, but I've no way of knowing for sure. It's worth investigating, at least. It does look pretty obvious. I shall go and assess the situation. In the meantime, wait for me here. If it looks safe, I'll come and let you know. You'd really do that for me? A lord troubling himself for someone of my lowly status? Our lot in life is of little consequence. We are both Renan, first and foremost. Oh, why yes, my lord. Thank you. Well, we've canvassed the city for information. What do you think? No one has the faintest idea what's happened to the city after all. They haven't heard the news about the crown contest either. You'd think that info would easily find its way up here. Has it always been like that? Not to this extent. Which would indicate that something's suppressing the truth. That Lenicus is under some kind of control. Yeah, Given seems that way. Given everything that's happened to their city, the people here seem weirdly okay with it all. Yeah, that one guy even said Azugal had stopped listening to him. If that's true, these people are in big trouble. Everything that happens here is attributed to the Sovereign's will. It's the way people have been conditioned. Their belief runs deep. Nothing happens devoid of a reason. To them... It's all part of the Sovereign's grand plan. The Sovereign's plan. There is one thing I'm still not sure about. Just who is this person oh, ruling Oh, finally going to ask it? The Sovereign, of course. He rules from Rena while presiding over both Rena and Lenigus. Without the Lords or anyone in the middle doing his dirty work? Isn't Rena at least the same size as Dana? That's a pretty big dominion for one person to rule over. I would have thought ruling Lenigus alone would be difficult enough. The points you make are valid, though I confess I'd never given it much thought before. Here, the Sovereign's total authority is as natural as night turning to day. Come to think of it, I know nothing of the nature of how Rena itself is. <sighs> Shion, have you ever been... <clears throat> no, forgive me. Have you met or crossed paths with... Or even heard of someone who's actually made a visit to the homeland? <laughs> no, I haven't. Here we go. Neither have I. In which case, I would imagine that... <clears throat> but no, surely not. Can it really be that no citizen of Lenigus has ever been there? Hold up, what are you getting at, Dohalim? And no Assuming one's ever been to the to supposed correct, homeworld? It's possible that no one on Lenigus has ever laid eyes on the actual Renan homeworld itself. No one but the Sovereign, that is. But what about trade and communication? There's got to be a flow back and forth, surely. Not if the Sovereign is imposing his will on Lenigus single-handedly. It could be a one-way street. But I thought you said that the Sovereign's all the way over on Rena. 
If that's the case, can he really rule directly over Lenigus from so far away? What if something were to happen to the city, like now? I'm beginning to wonder what the nature of this sovereign even is. Alfin said he was forced into the role, right? Just before the ceremony. But sovereign is also the title given to the almighty Renin ruler. So which one is it? Whoever wins the crown contest inherits the throne from his or her predecessor before becoming ruler over all of Renna and Lenigus. Thereafter, that individual is known as the Sovereign. Though, it would appear that the current ruler has gone silent. As for how Volron factors into all this, at this point, I no longer know what to believe. Yeah, Three he was ago, one. I became the Sovereign here on Lenigus. No, oh, not just became, I was forced to. Me, a Danon. 300 years later, we cross paths with Volron, who also bears the Sovereign's crest. That's not the only thing we have in common. We both became Sovereign without winning the Crown Contest. Do you think Volron was made Sovereign for the same reason? Because of that ceremony? I can't say for sure, but it certainly sounds like it. But that would mean that two Sovereigns would need to exist at any one time. One whose job it is to rule, and the other for ceremonial purposes. We never did see Volron's body back in Ganeth Heros. Is a new ceremony underway with Volron at its center this time? Could that be what's causing all this strange activity here? Wait a second. You don't think Volron and the Red Woman are working together, do you? The ceremony can't go forward without the Renis Alma. The same one that the Red Woman stole. There's something else the ceremony needs. A maiden. And unless there's another one out there aside from me... Questions, hmm. questions, and yet more questions. At least some of the right questions now. that it now. seems will remain unanswered until we can establish the Sovereign's identity. If the Forbidden Zone really is off-limits to everyone but the Sovereign, that seems as good a place as any to start. For the sake of liberating Dana, too. Then it's decided. That's where we need to go. One of the citizens mentioned a passage that she thought might lead to another section of the city. It could point us in the right direction. Let's go find it. All right, chat. So current working theory. The Renans destroyed their own homeworld or are <clears throat> like created by whatever alien race the Red Woman's part of. And the reason they never go back is because there's nowhere to go back to. The entire city was not meant to be built in this thing. And this thing was meant to pump astral energy to Renna and suck out Danon to revitalize the world and bring it back after something fucked it up at some point. That's what I'm going with. I didn't realize Renan suppressed their own kind too. And yet, weirdly, none of them seem to mind. Am I the only one who finds that strange? It a little weird. Things have always been. So no one thinks to question it. You have experience in that regard yourself, do you not? Unquestioning acceptance of your own servitude. Yeah, that sounds about right. Even so, the quality of life here seems much higher than any Danon city we visited. I used to think it was impossible to build an ideal society without wealth. But I suppose having it doesn't always mean people are treated fairly either. More to the point. Not a single citizen seems to have even heard of the Red Woman. What if she's not here? Ugh. What if it turns out we're looking in the wrong place entirely? It may. It's still too early to say anything for sure. For all we know, she might be able to blend in, move around unnoticed. I say we hold off judgment until we've exhausted every avenue. It could be why Renans can't see her. Like they're programmed not to. Tell me, Dohalim, has that skill of yours got a name? And what skill would this be, pray tell? You know, when you're talking to people around town. The way they suddenly become putty in your hands. I'm afraid I don't quite follow. I do. It's called friendly intimidation. Look <laughs> imposing and speak in a deep, booming voice, and presto, you'll have people wrapped around your finger in no time. I would never stoop to such scandalous tricks. Any feelings of intimidation are solely in the eye of the beholder. So there is a knack to it. How do you learn it? Can anyone do it? Now you've got me curious. Is there special training to master? Hmm, let's see. 
An obsession with being elegant is a must. Oh, and it helps to be old-fashioned, too. Bonus points if you speak in a way no one can understand. If you've a bone to pick with me, it'd be quicker to just come out and say it. What? They look up to you, that's all. I'm just helping them along. Hey! What's got into Alvin and Law all of a sudden? I can barely understand a word they're saying. And what's with the weird poses? Was it something they ate? Oh no. I hope you're willing to take the blame for this one. I wasn't expecting them to take me so seriously. I'll go and have a word with them. Idiots. Alright, I took two steps. With nobody left to run the show, I wonder what the people here are supposed to do. I mean, their sovereigns up on the Renan homeworld, and all their lords were sent to Dana. But Dohalim was a lord, right? Only current acting lords have power. Renan society is quite strict about such <clears throat> matters. Even if the other lords were still around, I doubt they'd be able to do much about the situation. I wonder what they'd think if they were here to see Lenigus now. Balsif, Canabelt, Almadria, and Volron. Now that I think of it, aside from Dohalim, we know next to nothing about the other lords. Yeah. Well, yeah, why would we? To us Danans, they were just enemies we needed to overthrow. Nothing more. I know. But seeing Renans in their own city, going about their day-to-day -day lives, it gets you thinking. It feels strange to imagine the lords living here too, you mean? Yeah, a little. If you're that curious about them, why not try inquiring with some of the locals? Every lord in their household has their share of supporters here on Lenigus. And luckily for us, the people here are unaware of the events on Dana, which means they should be more inclined to talk to us. Oh no, they gave me a fucking side quest to go talk to people. Fine, fine. Hmm? You want to know which lore I support? Why? Are you out canvassing for someone? I'm with his excellency, Elswin Twitzley. Suppose you know him better as Lord Balsif. Hmm. I know a lot of people consider him a giant brute. Believe me, I realize he can be an aggressive man. Most people don't realize is how much he looks after the members of his house. Fair to say that House Pelides doesn't enjoy much esteem. Those of those of us who serve it will be the first to admit that. Yes. But his excellency always stands up against any who would mean us harm. Of that we can be sure. His efforts in the Crown Contest are only for his family, but to improve the sanity of each and every member of his house. Yes. I owe so much to Zekensley, I could never dream of serving any other lord. Well, he's dead as fuck. Balsef had it in him to care about someone other than himself? Really? It's possible. A change in position can do much to alter one's perspective. So even he might have had something he wanted to protect. Uh, what's this girl got for us? She looks kind of like the one who gave us the opening thing. <laughs> lord Rolheen, you have returned. Ah, oh, I see you brought it. Hey, it's with you. Do you remember who I am, Lord? Surely you must, yes. Not only do I support House Ilquess, but more specifically his lordship personally. So much so, I've been trying to share my appreciation of his lord to any who will listen. In fact, I was planning to publish an extensive writings on the subject through a very terminal... This very terminal for all to read and enjoy. But since the lines appear to be cut due to the recent turmoil, I have been unable to upload them. I know, since you're here, I'll just read them aloud. <laughs> Ahem. The existence of the most handsome man, a man who radiates beauty, every his every word, every syllable is divine poetry. He hails from the famed house Il Quales, and his name is Lord Dolheim. The musician music is his passion, art's his great love. The scores of boorish, uncouth men of his land cannot begin to compare to his magnificence. That one did not rhyme. So refined and majestic is his posture. Why, the mere thought of it brings me to ecstasy. Once he becomes our sovereign, Renna shall bloom anew, ushered into the era of prosperity for our grand civilization. Until the glorious day comes, I shall forever be praying for his victory. Morning, noon, and night. Uh -huh. hmm? 
And what do you think, my lord? I poured my heart into uh, hoping to capture your essence. Wait, I forgot to mention anything about his lordship's love for collecting things. <laughs> I must take this time while the lines are down to uh, pend it. Only then will my masterpiece be complete. I guess she intended to spread it throughout all of Lenigus then. Good thing the lines were down so she couldn't. It almost <laughs> sounded like she was praising them too. Maybe there was more to the guy than at first glance. I shall refrain from commenting. Hmm. Well, I never to think anyone would try to tear me away from House Falkris. What? Hmm? What do you want? Don't tell me you work for Lord Dolim or that dreadful Lord Almadria, do you? You don't? Well, don't scare me like that. To answer your question, I come from the family that has served Lord Valkyris for generations. Indeed, I'm doing all I can to support Lord Ganabelt behind the scenes so that he might emerge victorious. Many think him to be a cruel man, but I insist they're utterly mistaken. Mm -hmm. Though I wouldn't deny he can be strict, he puts Rena's interests front and center like no one else. Why, he advocates for advocates that rather than stay confined to Lenius, we should go down and colonize Dana and explore our horizons. That way, we can become masters of both worlds and overturn our current minority status on Dana's surface. That is why he seeks to become our next sovereign. Tell me, is, that, is there a greater, more noble ambition than that? I think mm -hmm. not. It is a pursuit of power for the advancement of all our kind, and it is what makes him an exemplary lord, a model above others. Though I was unable to accompany him myself, my two sons have been blessed with the honor of joining him on the surface. <laughs> As their father, it fills me with endless pride. Hmm. Well, Ganabelle they might not be so alive either. To people, yet he was invested in helping Rena succeed. Doesn't that seem just a little inconsistent? I'm perhaps biased in this matter, I admit. However, in my mind, while all lords vie to become the next sovereign, they're also meant to serve as guardians of all of Rena. It seems like Ganabelt also had people he cared about until the very end. So why couldn't he extend that to us Danids? Yeah, are we done with that quest? I think anyone was over here, so maybe we have to... Go forward into whatever that zone is, I guess. Yeah. Food buff. It's also almost out. Which is big sad, of course. This area doesn't look as badly damaged as that other district we went through. Indeed, the effects of Lenigus's transformation appear to be less pronounced here. Uh oh. Or viewed another way, this area was simply luckier. Pardon me. This area falls under the sole jurisdiction of House Kenneris. I must ask you to part at once. Surely you don't claim to be ignorant of our famed house ruled over by esteemed Lord Almed. <laughs> All the Maria. If so, I urge you to listen well. In fact, I bid you listen carefully regardless. Have you ever noticed how in the history of Lenigus only a few women lords have ever emerged to complete in the crown contest? Many have theories as to why this might be, but all the Maria squashed the doubts of any daysayer through sheer might. In fact, not only did she usurp her father and previous head ma family master, she also removed her older brother to claim the seat for herself. Mm. She is a woman who stops at nothing to get what she wants, who gives her enemies nay the slightest opening of strike. Truly, Lord Almera is a woman of talent. No one in all of Rena better exemplifies the virtues of our nation's mediocrity. <laughs> Soon, the aim of the glorious woman sovereign, reign over all Lenigus, shall be set, shall be upon us at last. I guess her willingness to stoop to any low came from a survival of the fittest worldview. And some people here not only shared her belief, but championed it as morally right, too. That doesn't make it true. Too bad they couldn't see through her. Yeah. Alright, what do you got for me, old man? Ridiculous. Oh, how loathsome. 
Oh, uh... Hmm. Oh, I was just reading about Volron. How can I help you? Okay. I was always an ardent supporter of Lord Utheroid League, Hildaris himself. Were it not for his sudden death down on the surface, I likely still would be. In my eyes, Lord Utheroid League is the true Water Lord. I don't believe for a second that is he perished in some accident, like they yeah. say. As for how Volron runs Ganatheros, don't get me started. I hear he enslaves not only Danans, but even the fellow Renans. He may live in a, in a society where the victor goes to spoils, but this actions go against what he, what we as the people stand for. Besides, just what sort of family line is this house Iglesias of his anyways? Never heard of until he came along, which means they must have been among the lowest dregs of society. That such an ignoble lineage could suddenly produce an astral arts capable of ascending to lordship is unheard of. <laughs> None of that makes any sense, not to mention all of the upheaval around here of late. What is happening to our people? It seems like the people on Lenegas don't really know much about Volron either. I remember being quite surprised when the Lord of Ganeth Haros changed so abruptly. Didn't you have any doubts that something suspicious was going on? On the contrary. Remember, hmm. we Renans are raised to accept everything at face value. Does seem like a little bit of a problem. When you think about it, the families of Renan lords must see them differently than the rest of us. Yeah, despite the brutality they're known for. They must have had a lot on their shoulders, carrying all the weight and responsibilities of Renan society. Renans live in a world where strength and power determine their position in the social hierarchy, so they tend to grow up fiercely competitive. But their loyalty to their people is also strong. It's what brings them together against outside forces. And nothing exemplifies that more than the Lords. That's what makes them the guardians of all of Renna, so to speak. Right. It's the same reason Balsif hated my guts. And Ganabelt mm -hmm. went after you. Because we're threats to Renna. Guess that makes you an even bigger oddball than we thought. So, Alfin. Have you gained anything from all of this? Yeah. Uh... I think it's made me realize that the Lords were all people, too. Balsif and the others, they all had their own circumstances to deal with as they went through life. Yeah, but still, just because they had loved ones in their lives doesn't mean... I know. What they did was horrible. I'm not trying to dispute that. But at the same time, they weren't incomprehensible monsters, either. They were individuals, just like the rest of us. So I guess... What I'm trying to say is... You're saying that they weren't bad because they were Renans, or because they were terrible monsters. Even if they did terrible things, they were still just people. Renwell, am I wrong? Not at all. Being a Danon doesn't make you a good person. And being a Renan doesn't make you a bad one. I think that's something we've all seen. Shion and Dohalim definitely make a good case for it. Yeah. And I'm going to keep doing my best to make sure I earn that trust. As a fellow human being above all else. Yeah, we're above the 100 grand mark again. Okay. Chest! I'm getting Cheat pretty me. hungry. Yummy. Want to sit down and fix something? Yep. The sooner the better. <laughs> of course Shion does. That's just some bullshit. Doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. Can't go that way. This is less of a show up and fight our way through like a dungeon than I'm expecting. So they definitely threw a good curveball on that one. What could this be? Oh, another cutscene. There's cut something I just don't get. What is it? The crown contest itself has always gone ahead as planned, right? In which case, the current sovereign of Rena should be whoever it was that won the previous contest. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh-huh. So, who was it then? Hanfricht Milgros, the former lord of Cislodia, if memory serves. So then this Hanfricht, whatchamacallim, 
He's the current ruler of Rena? The last I heard, yes. Though, admittedly, I haven't actually seen him since the end of the previous contest. Yeah, You're saying see? that ever since becoming sovereign, he's never actually shown himself on Lenegus? I guess over Holocom, maybe, but not in the flesh. Same thing goes for the sovereign that came before him. Now that you mention it, I don't recall anyone ever visiting Lenegus from the motherland, sovereign or otherwise. And that yeah. never struck you as a little bit odd? <sighs> when you live here, it's as if you're conditioned not to notice all these strange quirks and discrepancies. The question is then, by whom? And to what end? A new Renis Alma is supposedly created to coincide with every crown contest. Meaning each victor is awarded their very own. In other words, if that's true, there should be as many of the things out there as there have been contests. Yeah, true, that'd be a lot. Going on what we witnessed in Pelegian, it didn't look like the sort of thing that could be made to order. But if even the victor's speeches have been part of some grand deception, then where are they? Oh, quite frankly, I'm not even sure what to believe anymore. They're probably all you locked up somewhere. Both, though we are Renan by blood. Neither of us even knew that such a thing as a Dark Master Core existed, remember? With any luck, the Forbidden Zone might give us some answers. No use standing around here chatting about it then. Let's get a move on. I never dropped the other thing, pre the bike thing previously either, so... That's its own set of problems. around for any cool items or something that might be hidden here. Doe? Uh-oh. Faria. Faria? Isn't that the person that Avakir guy Shh. was... But why are you here? Wait. Don't tell me you've given up on the crown contest and come crawling back home from Dana already. Hmm. Well... Nothing to say? Even though you were willing to kill Tarnigan to secure your position as Lord, you still... kill? I'm here to take care of something. If you wish to continue this conversation, I only ask that you wait until I'm finished. Oh, of course. You always did prefer to take the coward's way out. Even after seven years and living on that Danon rock, you haven't changed one bit. But let me tell you, I haven't changed either. Not a day's gone by the past seven years that I haven't hated you. If killing me will bring you peace, then so be it. <laughs> Dohalim, what the hell are you saying? First, I have business to take care of. If it's vengeance you seek, I will grant you it. But you must wait. My sins are legion. Let me finish what I came to do. Then you have my word. I will let you do whatever brings you peace. Uh oh Sure, that's it. Run away like always. You don't even have the courage to die. No wonder you leave it to someone else. You're just a coward! He's an Angie. Uh oh Well, that seems really bad. We found the red woman, though. <sighs> Dohalim. I apologize that you had to witness that. Is it true? What she said about you killing someone? Got a lot of people. Each of us there. have our pasts. I am no exception. But... Stretch. Before, back in Menencia... You mentioned having taken a friend's life over the throne. Is that what she meant? The mistakes yeah. I made there were not my first, and may not be my last. I will say no more. Did you mean what you said? About letting her take your life if she wanted to? She has more right to my life than anyone. But you can't just... Whatever happens, I have sworn to put an end to the crown contest and to ensure continued coexistence in Menencia. I have no intention of expiring before I do so. 
There are far too many questions I still seek answers to. Besides, you have just as much reason to kill me as she does. <laughs> Do Halim! Forgive me. Some things are best left unsaid. Some things indeed. Alright. Continue to go this way. Anything at the end there? Box? No boxes. Nothing there. <gasps> it's a box! And an orange shell. We're maxed out on each shell. Okay. Campsite there. Let's probably get our food buff before we go into like the Forbidden Zone dungeon. I wonder how much of this game we have left. Probably check how long it is. Wow, this place is beautiful. Yeah. It must be some sort of rest and leisure area for the locals. Well, just but nice. Man, these Renin sure know how to live it up, don't they? <sighs> it is something the matter, Dohalim? Before I went down to Dana, my friends and I, we, we used to gather at this very spot and play music together. Avakir, Faria, and Tarnigan. <laughs> That was a lifetime ago now. Tarnigan. He was the one that Faria mentioned, right? He was once my dearest, closest friend. <sighs> as well as Faria's betrothed. <laughs> oh, figure of something like that. Despite Faria's lower class upbringing, she possesses a tremendous talent for music. Entranced by her playing, I helped her overcome her sense of inferiority and introduced her to Tarnigan and Avakir. It was a time of great joy. Four people bound only by their love of music, with no care for social standing. Only the next song, the next melody. A friendship based on mutual respect. In a society where everyone is a prisoner to their social class. You really are different, Dohalim. I suppose it's natural you would see it as strange. I would have, once. Now, I think the idea of breaking away from society's constraints and choosing your friends based solely on affection is something beautiful that's worth cherishing. Besides, it was that way of looking at the world that laid the foundations for coexistence in Menencia. Your praise does me too great an honor. I was merely following the wishes of my own heart. And even then, it only lasted until the crown contest began. After that, Tarnigan and I became fierce competitors for the position of Lord. Tarnigan had fallen for Faria. By becoming Lord, he aimed to wrest her from her humble origins and raise her to the highest echelons of society. But fate was not so benevolent. What happened? Tarnigan was no match for me in combat. On a level playing field, he wouldn't have stood a chance. But he was desperate and low on options, and he couldn't stand the thought of defeat. You mean he resorted to dirty tactics to try to win, right? But then why does Faria think... Wait, don't tell me she doesn't know. How could I tell her? Combined with the trauma of losing her beloved, and by her friend's hand, no less. 
She would have been devastated. So instead you let her go on hating you? So she could use that hate as a crutch for her grief? <laughs> That's not the same as running away, though. It is exactly the same. Unable to face the loss of my friend and the burden of my duty, instead I decried my fate and looked away from what I'd done. As for what happened after, that you already know. But if you hadn't become Lord, Menencia wouldn't be what it is now. The Danans there would still be suffering under Renan oppression like before. <sighs> Shion's right. What other lord would have treated me as you did? Anyone else and I would have been dead long ago. You've saved so many people, Dohalim. You saved me. It's thanks to you that I'm here today. So, try not to blame yourself. The burden you've placed on your own shoulders is too much for anyone to bear. Frank as always. But, I shall do my best to heed your advice. Or Dolohim. Do you think he'll be alright? Yeah, I think so. He's got Kisara. It's important to have someone like that. Yeah. I didn't realize how difficult it is just to be there for someone. Sometimes just knowing someone's on your side can be enough. And he knows, Shion. I promise he does. I hope you're right. Who's that man? Why is he deeply stalking us? Yeah. I never appreciated until recently just how much you were always there to support me. It goes both ways. You've helped me keep going more times than I can count. Maybe. But I still wanted to say thank you. Yeah, letting them have their conversation before I accidentally run I off into something. see a medic officer over there. If they know you're with me, they'll likely offer their assistance. They haven't really done anything to need much in the way of medics or supplies since our last rest. What do you say we check back in on the ranch? Do we have more weapons we can forge? Oh, we do. Get the Gladius Rennie. Open equip. Yeah, we can't quite get that one, but we can build this giant. <laughs> Look at this fucking barrel. Holy fuck. We barely fought with those other weapons, too. Yeah, we can't quite get her that. She also has the dark. What about buying selling items? Got anything cool? Big armor upgrade for him. Kind of uh, back and forth, but 48 in one. Ash resist for slight loss in the other. Insufficient. Oh shit, I didn't realize we were that low on gold. Well. Well. There we go. We haven't sold in a long time. Oop, no, I did not mean to spend a bunch of money on that. I thought I was buying life bottles. Hey, 
Have you guys checked your equipment lately? A lot better now. Look at our new weapons. We got our katana, we get flashy sword. I don't like this one, I might change to it. Get a mist. Stone edge, pretty cool. I like that one. Get her that for now. Change up their weapons a little bit, you know? Had them rolling the same thing for a while. I like these wings. Do 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 butterfly. Like this. It looks cool. Okay. Hit up a quick save. buff back. I don't think I've ever had mm, Windwell cook, good so food is the best kind of magic. we're gonna have Windwell cook for us today. There we go. Mmm, this ice cream tastes so good. I swear, you're always having ice cream, even when it's freezing cold <laughs> out. And who made you the food police? Yeah, food no, police. I'm just saying that's a lot of ice cream. Don't you ever, you know, throw up or anything? Did you really just say that? Try thinking before you talk. Huh? W what do you mean? All I'm saying what, what, is I'm... What I do? Uh, I'm just a little worried about you, okay? Well, don't be. I can have ice cream whenever I want. You say that, but you know what's going to happen if you keep eating ice cream all the uh -oh. time. Now it's he's gonna get in trouble. Business, what I eat or how often? Arguing over the consumption of a frozen dairy product. Ah, uh, to be young. Naive might be more accurate. Hmm. Mm, ice cream. Ice cream sounds good. We should get ice cream chat. Okay. He unlocked a new thing for that. Interesting. I guess we should actually look at our skill panel. I think we spent... Yeah, no one really has enough to care about. We'll probably only go for a little bit more. Maybe we should just call it here before we get into anything too big. Just save. And, um, yeah. About 41 hours into the game. I figure it has to be another 10 hours at least. Maybe 20, for all I know. Alright. Exit the game in the background while you can't see it. Well, that was fun, chat. I hope you all had a good time here at the tea house today. So, let's see. Any final announcement? Final information. The only real thing is Friday, we're going, this coming Friday, we're going to have a, um, Uno tournament collab thing. I'll be posting the time about it later. But yeah, I'm taking the day off work for that. And I think um, Kimi is also having, it sounded like her uh, subathon. So I'll probably be doing a little bit of that before the collab. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah. And the other, now there's a bunch more people here. So they changed my hours at work, which means there will no longer be the Wednesday, Saturday streams at the 7.30 p.m. PST time. Because I'll be working during that. So on Twitter, there's a general poll about night or daytime, if you prefer. But the what would be a lot more helpful to me is if you join the Discord and in the... Uh, news section there's a poll currently that has both the times and the days that you could attend at those times so that i can lock down the days that would be best for everyone so i can actually still be able to hang out with you and see as many of you as possible so yeah if you all wouldn't mind doing that that would be awesome there is a link to the discord in the description i think uh do I have that set? Yeah, there's a there's a link as well. So feel free to join the Discord. It's a pretty okay place. Okay. Okay, it's a pretty cool place, I think. But yeah, join, hang out with everyone. Um, also, yeah, then you can vote in that poll to see which days would work best for everyone. But yeah, other than that, find someone to raid. Today was quite the... Uh, Today was quite the go, you know? The stream was... A lot of shit happened today. In the game. I guess those are the raid messages before I forget to put them out there. Let's see. Looks like... Doc is doing Dungeons and Dragons. AZ just started Uncharted. Uh, Liv is going, PG, kinda, we just raided kinda, we raided Doc not that long ago. It's been a long time since we did AZ, so we're gonna raid AZ today, playing Uncharted 2. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed your time at the tea house here, and I hope to see you back again for Friday, and I don't know if we'll do another stream other than Friday next week, just because it'll depend what things were looking like and how the adjustments are going to the new schedule. But yeah, I'll see you then and uh, have a great every day, everyone. And remember, it's always tea time. I'm trying out a catchphrase. Bye.